Hello. 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 So today is March 28th, 2024. Right now in Korea is 9, 18 p.m. Super, super, super long time no see. If you guys don't know, I have basically not been online for so long because I was on a very long vacation. I, I thought I would be able to update every so often. It was, it was just, no, the vacation was fine. I mean, I'm not going to talk about the vacation because it's, it's too, it's too much to talk about, but, but the vacation was fine. That's all to say for now. It was fine. Um, it was just fine. I mean, it was, it was, it was okay. Okay. No, it was, ugh. so I mean, I mean, it had lots of ups and downs basically, but, but most of the time was okay. Yeah. So, so, so basically I've been on vacation for almost one month. Like I went to Taiwan on February 26th and now it's March 28th, you know? So I, I legit been on vacation for one month and my brother who was visiting us um from the usa he went back to the usa yesterday or he actually landed like about 12 no 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 more than 12 hours ago he basically left korea yesterday and arrived in usa yesterday as well wild with the with the time zone so yeah so yeah so so now finally i'm now like back to my normal life now that my brother is back back at usa home but I'm still like, I'm still, what's the word? It's just, it, it feels like I was in a dream for one month, but it, it didn't really feel like one month, but it's just, it feel, feels very, I don't know when I'm going to go back to normal, but I'm slowly <laughs> trying to go back to normal. And so, hi, hey girl. So, so anyways, anyways, as I'm trying to go back to normal, <clears throat> I have to, I have to go back to doing lives with you guys. All right. And I miss, I miss talking with you guys. And I'm sure in this one month of me going through this very, very crazy time, I'm sure I missed out on a lot of stuff, but one of them being freaking, I am, of course he would. Okay. I knew something would happen. <laughs> I knew. I mean, at least, at least his comeback is after I finished my vacation, which I was very thankful for, but still, of course, something would happen while I'm on vacation. I knew it. Anyways, 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 let me talk about it one second. Sorry. I'm just, I'm still loopy. I didn't think I was still loopy. No, I'm still loopy. So anyways, hey, girlfriend, Joey, welcome, welcome. She asked me, how am I doing? And she says, glad to be able to join again after a while. Joey, your timing is impeccable. Given, given almost for one month, I haven't, I haven't really been online, basically. I couldn't even tweet a lot while I was on vacation either. So I kind of felt like I was really, um, I was really, what's the word? Disassociated. Is that the right word? Right. I was, I was, you know, I was like separated. I was like separated from the internet for such a long time. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that I've missed out on. And so, so anyways, but Joey, your timing impeccable. So now finally, after I finally finished my vacation with my family and trying to go back to normal, and now I'm like trying to catch up on everything. Ugh, yeah. So, 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 so today is the first day of me, like trying to go back to normal and, and why I've decided to finally do a live today is because if I remember correctly, I am's album preview for his new album is going to be at midnight on March 29th, right? So right now it's March 28th around 9.30 p.m. So in a few hours from now, it should be the album preview, right? That's what I'm assuming because everything um, everything uploaded about his comeback has been at midnight Korea time. So I'm assuming, assuming it's going to be at midnight in a few hours from now. So we'll see. We'll see. So I'll be, I'll be hanging out with you guys for the next three ish hours to see if it will drop at midnight. And then we can finally um, get the ball rolling of hashtag. I am back to celebrate his comeback, even though I'm quite late because his, his comeback is going to be April 3rd, which is how many days from now? Six days from now. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so yeah. So yeah better better late than never so yeah his comeback is less than a week away but finally let's get into let's get into the you know let's 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 you know yeah let's prepare for his comeback and all all that chatting stuff and also everything i've missed out while i was on vacation yeah this is basically what this live is going to be about and also what is this thing i'm holding i need to i need to open this and I'll, I'll let you guys know why in one second you can't wait to hear my stories okay okay joey 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 
I think I have enough stories to do, I don't know, 5,000 years. Okay, that's, that's, that's okay. I'm, ex I'm exaggerating. Let's, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I have so many stories. Maybe it might be like, maybe five days worth of YouTube lives. Let's put it that way. Yeah, not 5,000 years. <laughs> yeah, I maybe could last five days. You know, not. I'm not saying five straight days, but you know, um, periodically, maybe five days worth of YouTube lives of, of what the heck happened to me. So, cause, cause I didn't even tell you guys what happened to me in Taiwan, Taiwan, like starting with Taiwan, <laughs> but, 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 but to, to, um, to, to make it feel better. What happened to me in Taiwan was really too, it was too unbelievable, you know? So then when I went to Japan and then I went to Busan and then whatever. Yeah. And then so basically after Taiwan, I never dealt with something so unbelievable. What did I just say? So after Taiwan, I've never dealt with something more crazy than what happened to me in Taiwan, thankfully, you know, but still some, some crazy things still happened to me, but Taiwan was def is definitely like, oh my gosh, like what the heck is going on? What, what, uh, yeah, anyways, five days worth of stories. We'll talk about them once I'm ready. And so anyways. Anyways, what do I have here to unbox? Yes, girlfriend. So let's talk about this thing first, since we have three hours, um, actually two and a half hours until we see if, if hashtag I am back album preview will be out. So it is a laptop pouch. This laptop pouch, believe it or not, it's a season's greeting. So, so, so let me, let me explain about this. <clears throat> so Right now is March 28th, and I still haven't really unboxed fully um, MX Seasons Greetings because they made they made two versions. I only opened um, to see how the calendar is because I want to use it um, while the year is is going, but I still haven't unboxed everything in it. So so I don't know when I'll unbox everything in the MX Seasons Greetings. Well, I'm hoping in April. Like, come on, it's April and it's my birthday month. I should, I should finish everything by April. So that's my goal. Hopefully I'll finish all those things in April. Now this guy though, I haven't even opened it at all. And it's already almost April. And so I really, really need to unbox this before it's too late. And so this is a Seasons Greetings, not of Monster X, not of Wano. It's another K-pop group that I do like that you guys have heard me talk about before. These little animals here represent each member and they are the K-pop group Infinite. So as you guys remember, um, Infinite is a, is a second gen K-pop group and I went to their concert last year for the first time. It was a bucket list of mine to go see their concert in person and I miraculously Got a ticket to see their concert, but I still, to this day, have never gotten a Monster X concert ticket. You guys know my, my weird destiny, right? And so anyways, why did I decide to get Infinite Seasons Greetings? Well, I never intended to get their Seasons Greetings. I don't like them that much that I want to get their Seasons Greetings. And also, that's why I haven't even opened it until now because I'm I'm like, I don't, I don't even know if I'm really going to use it. But I, I really have no idea what's in, what's in here. But the reason why I got their Seasons Greetings is because infinite fan club registration is buying their season's greetings so i'm like what <laughs> so when i when i heard about that i'm like what so, so i it's, it's a little bit confusing because infinite is under their own company is is literally called infinite company and and the thing is each member also has their own separate company so like when they do um their solo singing work or any acting work so they have a separate company for, for themselves like that so it's very confusing about infinite but but yeah and so and so because of how confusing they are i guess they make they want to make it easy of like if you buy their 2024 seasons greetings that order number is going to be your fan club your fan club membership number 2 isn't that crazy so 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 i was very i was very amused by it and also I really would like to, um, um, what's the word? Like, I really would love to see another Infinite concert. Like, I swear I'm not, like, I'm not super their big fan, just like how I am with MX. So I really am not interested. I'm not interested to buy their albums or their merch, but I really would love to see them in concert again. And who knows if maybe I could even see them at music shows. So I'm like, let's try, let's try. And so, and also I'm kind of interested about their season's greetings. And so I just decided why not just buying a season's greetings is buying into their fan club membership. Let's see how it goes. And so I'll let you guys know what happens for now. Infinite is not making a comeback anytime soon.
as far as I can see. And, and sadly, no announcement of a, another concert this year. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I mean, Infinite, all the guys finished their military service. So I'm hoping, hoping Infinite, you know, going to do some more stuff this year. But we'll see. We'll see. And I'll let you guys know. So that's why I got it. And so look at how cute this is. Okay, so first off, this is legit the season's greens. Like, it arrives like this. I have not opened um opened it at all like it was in a plastic wrap i just i just opened that um already to save time but legit this is how it looks when it arrives to you and i'm like that's fascinating but this is kind of a small laptop pouch and honestly i don't think it would fit my laptop i don't think so but but still it's a pretty like decent sized pouch i could like put like um papers in it or something so i will definitely find use of it and so i always appreciate um k-pop merch that are very very useful like this is so clever to have this for the season's greetings, right? Starship, are you watching? So anyways, anyway, so these animals represent each member. So I, I, I taught you guys their names before, but it's okay if you don't remember. So first, the leader and oldest member is a hamster. Yeah, yeah, he really looks like a hamster. He looks more like a hamster than how Gian looks like a hamster, in my opinion. So anyways, this little hamster guy, his name is Sungkyu. And then the second oldest member, so yeah, they're going by age order now. And so the next oldest member, he's the same age as me. His name is Dongu, and Dongu looks like a dinosaur. He really does. You will, you, we can see their photos later, so you guys um, can can compare. But yeah, he's the dinosaur because he really looks like one. And then the third member, his name is Uhyun. He's the dog because he doesn't really look like a dog to me, but his personality, his personality is like a dog, so I think that's why he's a dog. And then this guy, uh. uh Who's this guy? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Sung Yeol. I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay. So Sung Yeol is um the tallest member in Infinite. So that's why I feel like I'm. I feel like this must be him. Yeah, yeah. So Sung Yeol um is the next um next member in age order. He's the deer, or I don't know. Is there another word for a deer? But anyways, yeah. I think he really looks like looks like a deer. So that must be him. And then this guy should be L. So L um is also an actor. If you guys ever heard of him, um acting and stuff but he's the cat he totally is like a cat so i really feel like yeah that must be him that's a cute little cat and then the youngest guy um his name is Sung Jung, and he's a bunny i don't think he really looks like a bunny i think he looks more like a squirrel but but his animal um is the bunny though and so that's brief intro of the six members of infinite and now let's get going oh yeah yeah i've been busy i know don't be jealous of me i don't know if it's, don't 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 be just like i it's it's is is very subjective of of how because because honestly I was kind of I was kind of glad to finally be done with my vacation but I'm still glad I went on vacation but it's, it's, I'll talk more about it next time but I'm I'm glad I'm I'm glad in some sense to go back to my normal working life in some sense in some sense and we'll talk more about that next time and and yeah it's so cute isn't it so cute okay so now let's open it together this will be my first time looking into this yeah okay. 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 So we have a lot of stuff in here. Okay. First off, the lining of this pouch, I was very surprised to see it's furry. Can you guys see it's brown and the lining is brown, but it's furry. I'm very, very impressed with that. So I have this thing. We'll look at that later. I have this thing. Okay. I have this thing. Okay. And oh yeah, yeah, calendar here. And that's it. Okay, that's it. Good, good. I I don't mind whatever stuff they want to give me, but of course, most important is the calendar. So let's look at that last. Let's go from smallest to biggest. So first we have photo cards. Of course we would. And I, I can still introduce um the members to you guys via photo cards. Yeah, I don't know if I would keep these. I mean, I might as well. I might as well as like a memory of this season's greetings. But I mean, I'll keep the calendar as a memory, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I like I like these guys. But I mean, yeah, I feel nothing for these photo cards. Like, I'll, I'll think about. It. So anyway, so the first guy, um, they're going by age order as well. And so I was correct. Um, Song Yeol is the um is the deer. And so anyways, the first guy is Song Gyu. I think his name. Yeah, yeah, his name. On his badge there, yeah, Sungyu, and so he looks. He doesn't he look like a hamster, right? Right. But we'll see more photos of them later. But yeah, and then and anyways, and on the back says his greeting, like his signature and a greeting to us. He says he says he says make a lot of money. Okay, 
Okay, Song Kyu, that's very, very nice of you. Okay, so so do you see like his signature there? But then that that sentence, and then the the eyes like that. Um, is he trying to be funny? I don't know. I don't know, but maybe that's the greeting for 2024. Um, hope that we make a lot of money. Of course, of course, that's nice to say, but it's just it's just a little bit weird at the same time. But I mean, thank thank you. Um. Um, sung you. Okay, and then the next guy is Dongwu. Now, I, I'm not a fan of pink hair. If you guys remember, like, I really, I really don't like pink hair on Gion. But then some K-pop guys out there do look good in pink hair. But this is just really too bright. Um, I don't know why they do that to him. Or maybe he wanted this hair color. I don't know. But this guy is the same age as me. Um, <laughs> anyways anyway so here is Dongu, and doesn't he look like a dinosaur if you guys can see but well, well we should see better photos of them later but yeah so this is Dongu, and oh his signature i've never seen their signatures before oh he has a nice signature and so he writes on here um so for us as well it's a start you know yeah yeah because they just made their new company last year so yeah so them for 2024 is like the start for them too and he says there's no end um for 2024 great great sounds good and so here's his signature it's like it's like a oh no it's not cute i think that's a very cute signature to have yeah yeah okay anyways and then the next guy is uhyun so i really like uhyun's voice i think he's probably my favorite member only because i like his voice the best out of everyone but in terms of personality i don't, i'm I'm still very indifferent about their personality. So yeah. So anyways, I would consider him my favorite his my favorite member because of his singing voice. And so yeah, this is Uhyun. And and yeah, I don't know. He kind of looks like a dog. Does he look like a dog? I don't know. I don't know. But I I feel like his personality is probably like a dog. And so his signature is really simple. Mm, I don't know how I feel about it. So so anyways, um, he writes on here. <clears throat> In 2024, um, also in 2024, um, with me together, um, I will, I will make you happy. That's okay. Very, how nice of you. Okay. And see that his signature. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a fan of his signature. It's just very, mm. anyways. Okay. Moving on. This is Sung Yeol. And, um, yeah, I mean, again, I'm very indifferent about, about, about the members but yeah this is how he looks like he's tall and I, i'm assuming that's why he's like a deer but i don't think he really looks like a deer just from his face you know so anyways oh his signature is also not that great either oh, okay so anyways anyways but he writes here um um a happy 2024 okay i'll, I'll make i'll make for you a happy 2024 and i love you okay thanks buddy but yeah that's his signature what the heck is that? I'm not, I'm, I, I'm really surprised. These are really their signatures. Like, Songyu is not bad. I think that's just a very normal signature to have. While Dongwu is definitely the, the prettiest one so far. But yeah, these guys, these guys, are you kidding me? What are, <laughs> I just, that's, just, that's a very, very surprising. These are really their signatures. It's just really. Moving on. So next guy is L. So L, I feel like, is the most popular member in, in Infinite since he does a lot of acting. But I do consider him the most handsome in Infinite as well. So here is L, if you guys have ever seen him. His real name is Myung Soo. And uh, yeah, he's really, like, like he really personifies a cat like i think even more than i am he really acts like a cat and i don't know if he kind of looks like a cat maybe i don't know maybe but his personality is really like a cat and so l signature is better than the other guys it's still it's still like kind of iffy but it's better than the other guys and he said um um this year as well 2024 um this year as well um be happy and 2024 fighting yeah and he drew like a little um happy face there yeah, right. His signature is just okay, right? Just okay, but it's um, I mean, it's unique. I appreciate it's unique. It's just yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on. And next we have the young guy, the youngest member. I mean, his name is Song Jung, and he's like a super cutesy looking face. But I don't know why he's associated with a bunny. But you, yeah, he kind of looks like one. So here is Song Jung. Yeah, yeah, me. But I still feel like he reminds me of a squirrel more. And so, anyways, his signature. It's okay. So, so infinite for some reason, only Dongwu has the best signature. And so, okay. So anyways, um, he writes here, 2024, um, uh, what, what is, 
his okay so i i believe he says here um like supporting supporting each other in 2024 and always always in in sadly that is really really bad handwriting song jong you need to practice your handwriting so so that last sentence there that is like i can't i really can't make out what those words are oh well so anyways and so that's his signature it's it's just like okay right it's just but still eh. anyways and then yeah that's his message there but i wish i could make that out i was just like yeah, it's okay it's okay anyway so those are the six members and then let's see more of their photos we have postcards here so i guess the theme of their season screens for 2024 is um dressed in high school uniforms but fyi everyone in infinite is over 30 years old okay so <laughs> so it's a little bit weird why would they go with this concept when they're all over 30 but um Oh, well, they do what they want, but they still look young. Here's the thing. I think us millennials, you know, they, these guys are all millennials um, with me as well. For some reason, we I think we all look quite young for our ages. And so they, they definitely look young for their age, but still, still just interesting. I would have liked to have seen them look more mature. I prefer to see... Um, M mature looking guys um rather than trying to look young you guys get me so anyways but there's again i like infinite for their music and their voices and performance but not everything else i'm not interested so anyways so here's the six of them posing like that yeah yeah and so these are just postcards so just postcards and see that's them on the stamp that's pretty cute that's pretty cute i don't know when i would ever use this but it's just just for keeping but it says here infinite um since june 9th 2010 that's their debut day yep 2010 super second gen second gen k-pop group and one of the greatest in my opinion they really are one of the greatest okay so anyways yeah, so it's just them here again. And yeah, the, all the backs are exactly the same. So yeah, I'll just show the photo. Just them just them looking dandy as high school students. Okay, so here's Song Gyo. Oh, so they're doing like retro thing. He's he's holding a Walkman, right? Isn't that what that's called? A Walkman, right? And so anyway, so I guess maybe are they like going back in time? But when they were in high school, no, 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 no. When, no, because I was in high school as well when they were in high school. Yeah, yeah, we had Walkman. Okay, okay. Anyway, so maybe going back to their high school days. So here's Sung Yu with a Walkman. Here's Dongu with a basketball. Okay, so I guess that's their concept for each member. Uh, and then Uhyun here with a camera. Is that a retro camera? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. And um, L just doesn't even have anything. It's just him looking handsome, which is basically his concept. He's he's quite a handsome guy. Okay. So that was L. And here's Song Yo um, with just headphones. He just has random headphones and a bag. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then Song Jung as well. Song Jung as well has headphones. I don't think those are retro. I don't think those are retro. Anyways, yeah. He also has headphones. Okay they're not 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 creative things oh okay, okay so now we're changing outfits of them looking more casual but still looking young so you see here they're like at home having like a pizza party yeah just casual looking okay okay yeah yeah okay okay and then yeah here here's them again mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but yeah but i do like how they all have um a close friendship with each other so i saw that clearly during their concert so i thought that was very touching so yeah it's just very very cute to see them all together <clears throat> oh yeah here's sung you again mm -hmm. what's he holding he's holding like a toy ufo toy thing okay and then don't move. he's still with a basketball but he's eating this kind of chip i don't know what chip that is yeah so it's just kind of like like just like kind of kind of what's the word like like children playing kind of concept they're doing it seems like yeah this is Hyun. he also has some headphones okay and then this is song yo as but he also has a basketball for some reason okay interesting i feel like they just weren't being creative with the props i don't know but here's l he's playing with like a toy car right there and there's a robot next to him and Song Jung is playing like um in a, in a foosball, yeah, foosball um thing here. Okay, okay, and that's it. Yeah, that's all the postcards. Interesting, interesting. 
again, I'm not into these kinds of things for infinite. I like them, but not I'm 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 never really interested in their merch. And so yeah, I'm still thinking about what to do with these things. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so moving on, we have a notebook that's most likely um, a schedule notebook. Most likely. So let's see here. It's quite thick, quite thick, but it says here infinite and their logo, which is the infinite. Oh, I like, um, I like this material they use. It's, um, I don't know what to go. It's like fabric. Do you guys, you guys have seen that on books before? So it's like fabric, which I like, which I like. Yeah. And it's just very like, like simple. I really like, um, the simplicity of it. Yeah. And it says here, 2024 seasons greetings. Nice, nice. And the back is just plain. Nice. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, so we first have the calendar of 2024 and 2025. I appreciate that. That's very interesting. Okay, and then we see photos first. So this is Sung Yu with his um his Walkman. Yeah, yeah. It's still him with his Walkman. Okay, and then we see the month of January, which which was two months ago. Okay, so yeah, this was January 2024. Um, they write here the holiday for January 1st. And and yeah, yeah. So so okay, okay, let's just go to the next page. Okay, okay, and then it's like um boxes for each day that you could write down your schedule in. Okay, okay, interesting. Okay. Okay, and it still continues. So this is the month of January for each week. Okay. And then, but it's very simple. As you can see, it's just super simple. But again, I do appreciate some simplicity. But this is this kind of style of the schedule book. That's not what I prefer. Because, you know, it's kind of like a, it's like a box. So I'm, I'm not a fan of, of that kind of style. So anyways, but it's okay. It's okay. And so next we have Dong Woo. So Dong Woo with his basketball and bright pink hair. Okay, so we see that photo of him. And then, and then into February, yeah, yeah, which was, can't believe that was a month ago. So anyway, so February 2024, there are more things written here. So first off, it says here, Uhyun's birthday. So his birthday is February 8th. And um, I personally don't remember any of their birthdays except for Dongu because he has the same birthday as Gihyun. Um, I only remember Sungyu is in April, but I keep forgetting the exact date. But I only remember he's April because I'm April. And then the other guys, I need to I need to memorize them eventually. So, anyways, February eighth, February eighth is Uhyun, and I remember going to his birthday cafe. Do you guys remember if I showed on Instagram? But yeah, I went to his birthday cafe for a customer who's a big Infinite fan, and so I was happy to do that for her. And it was a very nice um, cafe for U for Uhyun. And so, so yes, yeah, so February eighth, and then it says here Sola or a Lunar New Year. It was on February tenth, and then the holidays for um, Lunar New Year, and that's all it says for February. Yeah, yeah, cute. but I do, I do like. Um, they put like a little heart there. Oh, you probably can't see it, but that's Uhyun's birthday written there, and then they put a heart next to it, which is cute. It was very, very cute. Hey guys, hey guys, what's up? Okay, okay, let, let me pause here and 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 catch up with you guys on what I'm doing. One second, and then and then Joey says, "Wait, I didn't know something's inside it. I know, I know, isn't it crazy? I know the season's greetings." came this way and like packed everything inside the pouch. I know. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Joey says same sauce on that pink hair. You and me, you and me. Glad you agree with me. Um, Joey says, but still I may have some exceptions with pink hair on a few idols. Of course, of course. I, I think, um, Hyungwon, Hyungwon, when he had pink hair during jealousy, I thought that really looked good on him, but, but I would prefer him not with pink hair, of course. But I was like, wow, he actually really does look good with pink hair. But I say it's really rare. For someone to look good with pink hair, in my opinion. And so, you know, and so anyways, um, uh, Joey says the signature looks like a bird's beak. I don't know which signature you're talking about, but yeah, yeah. A lot of their signatures are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. It's just my personal opinion. You, you get the, uh, just, yeah, I need to say all the time. It's my personal opinion to each their own. Um, Joey says the youngest has the craziest kind of nagging personality, like a mom, the loud one. Joey, do you know their personalities really? Um, 
Song Jong. Yeah, so Song Jong is the youngest guy, and I do remember him being kind of naggy, even though he's the youngest guy. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty fun. Lou, 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 what are you doing at this hour? Welcome, girlfriend. She says, Good evening. Good morning, everyone. Where did Infinite merch come from? I know. <laughs> And then she says, is this the infinite season screen? Yes, yes, yes. So, okay. So, and then Joey says, hi, Lou. Okay, okay. And yeah, yeah. And then Joey explained, okay. And then Lou says, okay, very executive style calendar for the millennial fans. Like, I guess it is. I guess it is. I want to assume most of their fans are millennials. And so, yes, Lou, welcome. And anyone else who just joined, long time no see because I was on vacation for so long. Finally, my brother went back to the USA yesterday. So now, now, starting now, I'm like slowly... Um, going back to my normal life, but also so many things we got to talk about. You know, there's, there's as always, too many things. And also, I am's comeback is freaking less than a week away. And so, so, so we have a lot to catch up on. But number one thing I wanted to do while, um, before I do the other things during this live, I really, really need to open my Infinite Seasons greetings for 2024. Now, Lou, the reason why I have it, I wasn't planning to buy it. I only buy Seasons greetings of Wano and Monster X. So the reason why. I bought Infinite for this year for some strange reason. They say if you buy the 2024 Infinite Seasons Greetings, that order number is also your fan club membership number. So buying their Seasons Greetings is also going, um, is registering for their fan club. And I'm like, I don't know what process they're doing given like Infinite is under their own company, but then they have other companies for their soul. I don't know how it works, but I'm like, hey, I would like to have some fan club benefits because I would love to see Infinite Concert again. And who knows, maybe I can even go to their music shows later. Who knows, you know? And I, I freaking already have their light stick, you know? So, I mean, let's see what I can do um, regarding Infinite stuff. And also, all of them are done with the military. So, so I'm just like, let's just try it. So, I don't know if I'll, if I'll renew my membership um, for Infinite. But I'm just like, you know, let's just try and see. And, and, and whatever happens with my journey as an infinite official fan club member now, I'll let you guys know. So this is also announcing that I'm now officially, <laughs> I'm now officially an infinite fan club member because of me buying their season's greetings. And let's see. So basically, um, instead of a fan kit, my, my items to get as a fan club member, I guess is the season's greetings, I guess, you know, so it's, it's very, very unique. But I was like, let's see how their season's greetings is and I could use it all year. And Let's see what benefits I get for being their member. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Lulu said, did you see Leo at Great Comet? Not yet. Not yet. So, so, so Lulu, we'll talk about that later. The Great Comet stuff. Um, I, I, it's, we'll, we'll talk about that in one second. <clears throat> Jennifer, what's, what's up, girlfriend? Guys, so, so if you guys don't know Jennifer here, this Jennifer, she's, she's in Japan. She's from Japan. I went to Japan and I was able to meet her in Japan. Okay. So it's just, it, it was, it was a wild time. And so, well, I, all my stories, hopefully I could tell you guys about it. So Jennifer, what's up girlfriend? She says, hi, long time. No see everyone. That's right. Jennifer, long time. No see, um, in a YouTube live. Hello girlfriend. And Christine finally went back to home and so yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I mean, I've been in, I've been in Korea since since last week but but me and my family we went um on a busan trip um this past weekend and so after that busan trip finally my brother went back to usa yesterday and so now today is like the start of me going back to normal life which is which is still very weird to me it's like i felt like i was in a dream for one month but anyways i'll talk about everything next time and so this live it's just brief catching up because I really need to open the season's greetings now. And then while I'm opening it, I'm also waiting for midnight because I think that's when the next um I am comeback um thing is. And so we'll we'll, we'll talk about that next time. But also sorry, not next. I will talk about that after I finish opening. And then um again, always, always too many things going on. But yeah, one thing at a time. This is like um, this is like a live of just um of just the the most important things I need to deal with first and then see you guys more. As, as, as the days goes on, um, uh, Jennifer says, you finally, you finally can join a live chatting that Jennifer, I'm shocked. You even have time right now. Jennifer is so busy with, 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 I, <laughs> so Jennifer is busy with like other stuff, um, going on with her, but ha happy to see you whenever we can see you. What, if what, great, what, what is going on today, guys? But anyways, anyways, I appreciate any kind of good timing. That's so funny. Um, okay. So 
Japanese drama winter term just finished and this time and you don't have any TV program to watch at this time. Jennifer, that's hilarious. Are you kidding me? So all things because of your drama ending. That's hilarious. Okay, so anyways, Jennifer, I hope that I can entertain you for the next few hours. But the thing is, I will be um doing this live up until midnight. So so I can see if something happens um, with the I am comeback. And so you guys can join as long as you want. All good. But hilarious. That's hilarious. All this good timing. And like, again, I'm still like kind of loopy because I'm still trying to like get used to my normal life since I just, you know, my brother just left to, to the USA yesterday. But, but it's all good. It's all good. I'll definitely get used to it eventually. And all, also, you know, April, my favorite month of the year. We have to do a lot of things in April. So slowly and steadily. Yeah, you guys will should see me more often, hopefully, starting from now on. Yeah, yeah, hilarious. Um, Lulu says, wow, I hope other groups do that too. Lulu, do you like this concept? I mean, it's a very unique concept, but but it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I don't have um a fan club card or kit, you know. I, I don't have that, you know. That's that's I guess the only downside of it. But I say it's very convenient because if you're a fan of them and you would buy their season screenings anyway, and that in turn is also your fan club membership. I mean, I love killing um two birds with one stone, right? Yeah, yeah, but I I can I can believe most companies would rather make their own merch for the fan club, I I think. And so just Infinite is just very, very unique because of their uh, because of their situation as a group and like they each have their own company. It's yeah. So I think that's why they decided this was the best way to go about it. Um um, I know, I know. We gotta talk about the stupid Monster X fan kit. I know, I know. So, so, so let's 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 um, what's the word? Was can we roast about Starship later? We have to roast it, like like Starship. I, you know, you, you guys know my feelings about Starship, but yeah, I'm ready to roast them anytime. Okay, so now finally, the the MX fan kit will arrive to us soon. But it's it's. <sighs> let's talk about that one second so for now let's praise infinite what they're doing which i still think is pretty cool um what they're doing and i really hope i can use my membership for infinite this year that would be great i mean while mx guys are still in the military you know so we'll see we'll see um uh, i know including a whistle for protection i don't know i don't know what the whistle is supposed to be let's talk about that later let's talk um joey says can't wait for the great comment yes yeah, shawnee slash, slash anatole yes 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 you're really hoping to see that musical but sadly you can't let's talk about that next time not next time well we can talk about it in this live i mean but yes yes we're gonna talk about great comment in one second but but yeah guys they don't have online stream but i had a feeling i had a feeling they wouldn't because then less people would go in person, you know? So I have a feeling in order to have more people want to go in person, it makes me think they're not going to have an online stream, but who knows? Who knows? I wonder if they randomly will do it for like only one day to have an online stream. I don't know. I don't know. But, but for now I, I, I say, um, keep expectations low, but, but Hey guys, I'm going to go see it in person. I I'm not able to record it of course, but I will tweet about it as much as I can. And also give you guys my honest review about it trust me you guys know me i i can talk for hours and so i'll do my best to give you guys all all my all my um all my what's the word my recollection about it but also i'm gonna go see leo be anatole along with shanu being anatole and i i have i have um i have what's the word i have a plan to hopefully see more but i'll talk about that in one second um Lulu says saw Jennifer's icon concert photo. She went to go see icon. That's right. She told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cool, so cool. And then Lulu says, according to Twitter, Sean you, Sean you Sean Sean Atoll, is that is that what's what's what how to combine? Yeah, so so Sean Atoll um debut was a success. He was super flirty and hugged an audience member for passing a letter to Natasha. Too hot for introverts. Hilarious, hilarious. We'll talk about that in um later, later in this life. And then Joey says, I actually have questions or maybe just need some clarification about MX Fan. Well, we could talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. They made an announcement that I think must be translated. Can you like write the comments in here of what your question is? And, and I'll get to it um once I can get to it. So yeah, Joey, uh, uh, talk about it here. Um, and then Jennifer says, I saw that whistle is made for protecting one bears for emergency. Yeah. <laughs> and if someone follows us or we need an emergency, we can beep the whistle. I guess, I guess, I guess that is what I need the most. You do? Okay. Okay. That's great. That's great. Let's talk. Let's talk about that whistle later. Okay. okay. I mean, I mean, I don't know when I, when I saw the 
I don't know. I'll give you guys my opinion later. Okay, okay. But definitely it'll be helpful, but Okay, okay. Anyways, anyway, so Lulu says, um, they are so caring to Monbez for our safety with the whistle and light stick weapon. I, I, I guess, I guess. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't think I don't know. I don't think that way when I see things like that. But it's just me. Of course it's just me. Like, like, yeah, what could what could I, let's let's talk about that later. So again, I have my own opinion, but again, don't don't, don't always remember it's my own opinion, but but let, let's talk about it later. Okay. Um hi Unico, what's up, Unico? She says, Can you record the curtain calls? I don't know. She says a lot of people post curtain calls and it seems that is allowed. Okay, DKZ me um have members that are always in musicals and people usually post the curtain calls. So it depends on the company. So, so, so I, I went to go see Wano's equal musical and only on some days they allow photos taken during curtain calls. So, so I wonder how, um, the great comet would be. And it's a different company, of course. So, so as far as I know, if you guys haven't seen anyone upload anything about curtain calls so far, I mean, given it's only been like what, three days of the musical so far, if you guys haven't seen anything uploaded, then most likely for now it's still not allowed, but for future days yeah i don't know when surely later um they will let you know when it's allowed but but yeah if you guys haven't seen anything yet then it's not allowed yet and and yeah but when i go um in person um for the first time i'll let you guys know everything of how it of how it is at that time <clears throat> Lou says there is a second episode. Uh, I already saw that girlfriend. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. Um, Unico says, hoping for a media showcase. I think there will be because most musicals seem to have one in Korea. Really? Really? So so the only musical that I'm most familiar with was two years ago of One O's Equal. And they were very generous of, of having um, a lot of... Um, I don't know if they had it for every single show, but I do remember they, they had a lot of online stream for it, which I, I really, I was really honestly surprised about that. And so now seeing with Sean news, um, for the great comment, um, for now, for now, there's nothing, nothing about an online stream. And, as, and also the great comment was, was like, you know, with different actors, um, a year or two ago. So as far as I can see, they never did an online stream of the first time they did a great comment in Korea. You guys get me. So, so from that, um, from that experience that also makes me think maybe they won't have an online stream but who knows of course things can change at any moment but for now i still say keep expectations low for now for now but we'll see we'll see who knows um i think if a lot of people um talk about it or there's a big demand for it maybe they would but for now i it still feels like they're not gonna do it yet but we'll, yeah but we'll see um <clears throat> um yeah, yeah, since they were previous for the since these are previous for the musical, maybe that could be why um they're not doing current calls yet. Oh my gosh, there's another video uploaded today. Get out of here. It's it's Hyung Wan. So wait, wait. So what's what's the topic of Hyung Wan's video for today? Is for Wellaju. I mean, that's that's how you pronounce it in Korean. Um for um, but I think it's well age in English. Anyways, so so I think it's just him being being cute. I mean, that's that's I'm just basing it um off the title. Um so you guys can go watch it. Don't worry about me. If you guys want to go watch Hyung One, don't worry. Go ahead and um yeah, just hilarious. Okay. Um uh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So about the current call thing, yeah, it, it must depend on the day, but I, I don't think will happen every day, but we'll have to wait and see later. Mm -hmm. Um uh, most likely you can record. It's too chaotic considering I watched it in Toronto and it's like being at a big party. Oh, can't, can't. That's what you mean. That's what you mean. Yeah, Lil, I was like, oh. yeah, most likely cannot record. Yeah, yeah, most likely during the musical cannot record. But then if they allow in the beginning or ending, that's that's usually the only time when they would allow it. But only certain days. And so that's, that's so far how I'm guessing about it so far, so far, yeah. Um... Um, Lulu says, I hope there'll be a cast recording for a purchase. Lulu, they already announced merch for great comment. I need to, I need to, um, translate it, um, on, on Twitter. I still haven't done it yet. So sorry, but, but Lulu, so, so what they have for sale is a program book, badges, um, a cup, um, what else was there? But I didn't see anything that's like um, the OST of it so far, so far. So yeah, so I need to translate that and I'll, I'll tweet about it. I keep forgetting these things. And so, yeah, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. But yeah, as that's all I saw significantly of what they have for sale there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Um, Yuniko did a deep dive for a couple of musicals, and so that's why she's aware of these media showcases. Good to know. Good to know. So if that's the, yeah, if that's usual, I, but I don't know how usual that is. And so so yeah, so each company how they do musical is all different. And so keep in mind, this great common musical is done by a company that is owned by Starship. So keep that in mind. Um, whatever like Starship wants to do. Um, yeah, and then when when Wano did his musical, I I don't I don't know what company did that, but but anyways, yeah, yeah. So so for now, we just gotta wait and see. I mean, it's only a few days in of the musical, and yeah, let's just yeah. But it's it's lasting until June though, so anything can happen. Maybe on the last few days will be like more different things happening. So so yeah. So for now, it's just still we still gotta wait things out and and see what happens later. Okay, okay, so Unico says, I should ask them if I can record the current call. Okay, okay, so if they don't have any announcement about the current call, like whether it's allowed or not allowed, then I'll go ahead and ask them about it. Sure, 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 I'll do that, yeah. Um, Lou says, I love that the members are love bombing us each month with videos. I know, I know, well, they prepared it, of course, um, preparing it before enlisting and so i do appreciate it too yeah yeah um taking a page for our love bomb king one i know i know i mean wano is number one about it it's still freaking once a week with wano this guy and so anyways anyways i need to finish this unboxing okay so yeah so any questions you guys have about everything that we'll talk about later comment away okay so so we're only into february okay <laughs> so, so, so this was only a month ago I uh, can't believe that was a month ago. And so, yeah, so February. But surprisingly, they don't say, like, Valentine's Day. But I guess because it's not a national holiday in Korea. I wonder if that's why. But just interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, and so then it goes into um the schedule, uh, the weekly schedule for February. So let me go through. Oh, oh my gosh, I have a bookmark. Okay, okay, anyways. This is very millennial um simplicity style. I quite like it. I quite like it. I'm such a millennial. I like things like this. Um, okay, so now... Now we'll see the next picture should be Uhyun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now the next picture of Uhyun with his camera. And then to the next month, which is March, which is, I still can't believe we're in March, but the thing is, in a few days, it's going to be April. I still can't believe it. Okay, so, anyways, so here is March and it says here the March 1st holiday. And L. so if you guys don't know, L's birthday is March 13. Yes, yes, yes. So guess what, guys? I went to an L birthday cafe in Tokyo. Yes, since I was in Japan um, in this time. And so the customer who really likes Infinite, she told me about, about um, the fans doing for L's birthday. And someone was doing a birthday cafe in Tokyo. And I'm like, I gotta go. And so anyways, so I was able to go for her and get the items there um, for Elle's birthday. And so I'll talk about that whenever I feel like talking about it. So anyways, yeah, his birthday is March 13th, which was like two weeks ago. Oh my gosh, his birthday was two weeks ago. Anyways, anyway, so yeah, so it says here Elle's birthday. And that's the only holiday. I mean, the only things they have written here for March. And freaking, there's only a few more days of March. I still so anyways anyways so that's and then next the, the weekly schedule for march and then in a few days we're gonna be in april guys but it's my favorite month of the year so let's see april oh where is it oh yeah so first we see song yo so song yo the next guy we see here and oh uh, yes he's, he's he's always like you know he's kind of like a model as well that's kind of like his um that's kind of like how like 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 here's the thing about song yo okay he's not the greatest singer he doesn't have a lot of parts in infinite songs but he's basically just there for looks but it's okay every every k-pop group has that one member that's like for looks so he's he's basically that guy but he's he's a funny guy he's a very very funny guy very charming um yeah but this is just showing you know him being like a model which that's basically his role in the group and so anyways april okay so april um, it says here April 10th is an election day. So they, they put it here because it's, it's election days in Korea. They consider it like um, national holidays. And so, yeah, yeah, um, very important election day for them. And then Sung Yu's birthday. He is born April 28th. I remember he's an April baby, but I, I didn't memorize on um, what day he is. So his birthday is 10 days after me. So exactly one month from now is Sung Yu's birthday. Good to know. Good to know. I should try to, I should try to remember their birthdays. Yeah, yeah. Ten days after me. 
good to know, good to know. But Sungyu is one year older than me, by the way, so. Good to know. Anyways, but yeah, April. Lots of fun things we'll do in April together and my birthday, April 18. <laughs> Moving on. Let's see for May. And also the photo before we see May. Oh, yes. 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 So here is L. Look at him. He's such a cute looking guy. Isn't he cute looking? Yeah, that's why he's so popular. Yeah. So cute. All right. So, yeah. So, we see L. And now into May. Well, there's so many holidays in May. So, first, we have Children's Day, May 5th. And then and then since, since that's a Sunday, they also give us a day off for Monday, May 6th. So, that's good to know. And then Buddha's birthday this year is on May 15th. So, Buddha's birthday um goes by the lunar calendar. So, it changes every year. And so, May 15th, one day after um, MX debut anniversary is... Yeah, it's a holiday for us. Buddha's birthday. Good to know. Good to know. And that's all it says for me. Okay. Okay. And so here, I got excited that they had this little bookmark thing. <laughs> I mean, you rarely see schedules or books that have that. So I feel like I'm such a millennial that I like to see things like this. So I thought that's very, very nice. I, I really appreciate that. Starship, why don't you do things like this? Okay. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yes, I think that's very cute. Let's put this in April. Since it's, I mean, my bookmarks thing. Let's put it in April since that's the next month I'm going to look at later. Nice. Okay. And then after May, then let's see the next photo before June. It's Song Jong. He just has one big photo of him. Okay. Okay. Good for you, Song Jong. Okay. So he has this spread of him. And then into June. We have June 6th is a national holiday. And then June 9th, which is Infinite's um, debut anniversary. So it says here 14th um, day, fourteenth anniversary for Infinite. Oh, my gosh. 14 years. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So 14th anniversary for them. And then June is also Shawnee's birthday. Okay, okay. So that's all they have written here for June. And then for July, the summer months. Um, I don't know if you guys... No, but I hate summer. It's just so hot here in Korea. So anyway, so yeah, yeah. But summer is, is a few months away. So anyway, so now we're into the new the new outfits of Sungyu in the other outfits. And then into July. There is nothing in July. No holidays and also no birthdays, you know, of infinite guys. Okay, good to know. So let's see for August. So first, the photo should be of Dong Woo. Yeah, look at that. He has a full spread of him here. Very nice. All right. That's Dong Woo. And then, and then August. Okay, yeah, August 15th is a holiday. And then, oh, August 17th. So you, you guys remember Monbebe's birthday or Weenie's birthday? Their fan club is called In Spirit. So I'm technically an In Spirit right now. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So the, their fan club name is In Spirit. And so their birthday, you know, the day when their fan club was made is August 17. August 17? I think I have a customer whose birthday is August 17. What? Okay, she, she if only she was an infinite fan. But yeah, so, so In Spirit. Yeah, okay, the birthday is August 17. I should probably remember that. Okay, August 17, which is seven days after my dad's birthday. So, so, so one week after my dad's birthday. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And then and then August 27, oh, which is 10 days after. So August 27 is Sung Yeol's birthday. Lots of things in August as an infinite fan. So good to know. August. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Then moving on um, into September. Whose photo? Is it Uhyun? Yeah, yeah. So Uhyun photo here. Is that a, oh yes, he's holding a globe. Okay. And then so now September. So September, Song Jong, Song Jong, the youngest member, his birthday is September 3rd. That's why. Although okay, because, because September 4th is Wano's um solo anniversary, but that's also the day when he comes back from the military. What the heck? Okay, but yeah, but anyway, so Song Jong's birthday, and then like one o's day basically okay that's, okay so yeah so song jong september 3rd and then chuseok is september 17 okay good to know good to know okay okay and also um guys in september i'm going to singapore but okay so we'll yeah it, it's, a, it's a long time until i go to on my next vacation but yeah in in the same month as when one o comes back i'll go to singapore but it's only for a few days surely he's not gonna do anything when i'm in singapore please 
one, please. Okay, so anyways, anyways, next, next. Okay, almost done with the year. See, one year goes by so fast, so fast. Oh, yeah, so here's Song Yeo's photo. And then October, which is my least favorite month. Um, okay, so we have October 3rd holiday, October 9th holiday. And that's it. Nothing in October as uh, for infinite stuff. Good to know. Good to know. But yeah, who knows if, if one of those first come back after the military. Is it in October, November? We wait and see. Okay, and then into November, the photo should be L. That's right. Here's L. L photo. And to November, yes, the only thing here is just Dongu's birthday on November 22nd, which is also Gihyun's birthday. I know. I know. Isn't that so funny? But yeah, that's the only thing for November. All right. So yeah, did I go through all the members' birthdays? Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, so okay. So now let's see December. Uh, yeah, Sung Jong, the Magne of Infinite. And then. December. Eh. Yeah, nothing. Only Christmas. Yeah, and that's it. Great. Great. Okay. And then yeah, and then I have a memo pad here at the end. And that's it. Great. I love how simple this is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so the last page here, it says their infinite seasons greetings. Oh, it says a message here. It says, um, for the past 13 years, um, because of in spirit, um, infinite's youth became more bright. Oh, oh, so is that why their photos is of them like looking all young? Oh, okay. So, so isn't that so okay? That's so sweet to like leave a message for the fans. Okay, okay, but there's still more. So, um, um, still, um, in the same spot, um, um, with the same like, um, same like. Mosip, how do you say mosip? Um, and the same appearance, yeah, yeah, and the same, you know, just, just the same way that you look basically. Um, um, for a long time, um, um, infinite that shone bright, um, our youth, um, just like um the name, um, just like our name infinite will be will infinitely keep going. Oh, <sighs> Uh, who wrote this? Sung Kyu, I mean the leader. Did you guys who wrote this? This is this is very, very touching message. Um, um, so in 2024, together, every moment, um, um, every moment, like like you know, recorded down and um and 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 everything, like you you every like you you like keep it preciously. That's 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 the best translation I could think of. Um and, and then to each other, um, um, becoming a precious friend. I, I, this is why I do not translate, but, but it's a really, really touching message, but I'm just not a good translator. Um, okay. So anyways, and then, and then it says here in English, you could write your name, birthday, cell phone number, your blood type. <laughs> that's a, that's a millennial thing, a blood type and diary open date. Like the first day you start the diary or something. Okay, that's very, very sweet. Okay, oh my gosh. Well, well, given is my first time being an official um infinite fan, aka in spirit. I guess, I guess I could take that message with me. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I've known infinite ever since their debut. Now that I think about it, um, yeah, yeah, I did, I did. I remember seeing them on TV with their um debut song, but I didn't really get into them until their next album um before the dawn like that song before the dawn was like what really got me interested in infinite so so anyways guys um if if any of you guys are are interested about this k-pop group i really really recommend just go listen to their music or at least watch all of their music videos and if you're interested in them like like keep going the rabbit hole but if you're not interested in them it's okay and just enjoy this other part of my life of just enjoying um, a long time K-pop group I've liked. Um, they I basically kind of like grew up with them kind of thing. So yeah, that's that's the best way to to explain it. And all, and yeah, so finally, finally, let's look into the calendar and I could finally use it. Like it, it should be like right here. I have this spot that has like been empty for a while. By the way, guys, do you see I kind of like remodeled a little here? I'll, I'll explain it later. Anyways, let me talk with you guys before I get into the calendar. Um 
Um, Unico says, of course I've seen it, Unico. So Juhan's what's in my bag. Can we talk about that later? Let's talk about it later. Um. Uh, Joey says, I'm just mainly curious about the announcement they made for fan club membership withdrawal. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, well, well okay. I, I can answer it here, actually. So, excuse me. So, that announcement is because it's been such a long time. <laughs> been such a long time since we um, applied to be a member. And now it's almost April, which is when they're going to ship the fan kit to us. So, for some reason, which I don't know if, if a lot of people have done it. Or not, but I assume my, it must be for a reason as to why they would announce it. But it's, it's if um your Melon account, like if for some reason you closed it, you know, so if, if you close your Melon account or something happened to your account, like you don't have it anymore. So something like that, if you're one of those people whose account like doesn't exist anymore, then then you have to go through something. But if you guys, if you guys accounts are perfectly fine cacao melon it's all okay then you don't have to worry about that okay so only only if by chance you moved or if you um um if you prefer to have the fan kit delivered to another address since now that we know it's gonna start shipping um end of april so between end of april to hopefully may i'm hoping they would finish shipping during may so within that time if um if by chance you want to change your address because of this time frame then you go into your account to um, change the address. But if not, if you're all good, then you don't have to worry about anything, basically. And just wait for the fan kit to arrive to your address. Yes. So that's basically, I think, everything that they announced about it. But if you guys have any other questions, please, please let me know. And I would definitely love to help you guys. <clears throat> um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, in Google, why, so, so Jennifer asking why... Well, no, was that why Soin Gook and Shonu on the same variety show? So, so Soin Gook basically has his own YouTube channel. So, so through his YouTube channel, he he um invited those guys from Great Comet to appear on his YouTube channel. That's that's basically all it was. <clears throat> you love Soin Gook acting in a drama. He is really good at acting. I'm very, I'm very um, what's the word? I I really liked his acting and his singing, but I didn't see him in any recent drama. So I wondered if he um stopped doing something. But I'm glad to know that he's still active. That's the thing. And so so I'm I'm glad to know that. But I did think it was very cool to see them together. And and also I, I really liked to, to knowing that Soing Guk is still doing something. So I was glad to see this. Anyways, yeah, it was really bothering me how this side of my hair was looking like. So let me fix it now while I'm talking to you guys. <clears throat> Unico says, I don't even use the calendars from the season's greetings. You do you, girlfriend. It, like, whatever whatever reason you have for getting the season's greetings, that's you. And if you never use it, don't worry. Don't worry. But I personally do like to use um, calendars. And especially if it's related to my favorite K-pop group. Why not? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lulu says, Jew Honey's What's in My Bag was so interesting. I know. I know. How his accessories are all color matching. I know. I know. We could talk about that later. Yeah, it says. Um. You got two of Monster X and one and five, 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 what? So so wait, Unico, you have five seasons greetings of one packed. Why would they have five? Really? Oh my gosh! Unico says you didn't unbox any of your K-pop albums after you moved. You do, you girlfriend. I mean, moving is so stressful. So don't worry about that. Um, and now you're waiting for your dryer to be fixed so you can do laundry. I hope your dryer gets fixed soon. But I wonder um um if you can like just hang your clothes to dry because that's that's the thing. I um in Korea we don't usually use dryers. I personally don't use dryers. And so I just hang my clothes to dry. But I mean, I mean that's, you know, uh, but to, to each their own if you're not a fan of it, yeah, it's all good. Um <clears throat> Gian's on our cut. What's up, girlfriend? Long time no see. Same here, same here. So Gian's on our cut. Um, there, there's I I I explained like what's what's been it's it's okay, it's okay. Gian's on our cut, just rewatch this later, but also just join in. Yeah, yeah, no worries about it. Um Soing Google has yeah, that's right, that's right. Has a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. What Lulu says, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah, I believe based on how they were talking about um, with Goin Sung, who is the other guy for Anatole, they seem to have been in a musical together. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Song Gook has Leo and Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And everyone teases him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know, Gian. So she says, funny that I'm on Bogdan Season's Greens right now. I know. And your CIX one just arrived. 
just arrived? Are you kidding me? I mean, unless they use like a slow shipping company or something, but are you kidding me? But yeah, but as you can assume, Gian's undercut, I've had these seasons greetings since before 2024, right? I'm pretty sure. And so, so yeah, so yeah, so this is the last, not, not the last one. I still have to unbox more, more deeply the MX seasons greetings. <sighs> I'll do my best to do that in April, but for sure this infinite one, I really wanted to open it now and finally can use it. And also, yeah, because I'm waiting until midnight anyway. And so, so anyways, yeah, Gian Zanaka, you'll, you'll, I'll catch up with you later. One, one second. Um, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. It was announced. Yeah. Yeah. If you can, yeah, exactly. Unicode. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You subscribe to his channel, Jennifer, you do that. Good, good, good. Unico says you voluntarily withdrew, then you can still get the right, right, right. Yeah, that's what it, yeah, you just had to contact. That's right, that's right. It's, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, yeah. So if, if you guys are not that situation, then don't even worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Lulu says, from what I Google translated, Korean Monbebe member kits will ship end of April, and the rest of the world is whenever with no timeline. Don't say that. Don't say so. I'm I'm assuming, I'm assuming that timeline that they said is for everyone, is for everyone, even global, you know, if you buy globally, it should be um. It should be everyone shipping starting end of April. But the thing is, I don't know. They say it's in order of payment. But like, are they going by the Korean website first or the global website first? Or are they doing it all together? That's a mystery, actually. And so so don't, don't worry too much about it. But it will start shipping in general end of April. But honestly, just because of of, you know, it always will take some time, um, international shipment regardless. So I'm thinking internationally, it probably would arrive end of May. I really hope no later than end of May, you know, so that's my hope, like everyone globally included that we will all get our fan kits by the end of May. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. Um, um, uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, I don't know what's the voting thing going on, but you guys talk about it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I am had had a brand event today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, did he look handsome? So I'll talk, I'll talk about I am later. I'm so sorry. <laughs> always keep in okay, always keep in mind. My opinion is really weird. You guys know me already. Okay, so don't don't mind me. Okay, okay. So, anyways, let's keep going. Um Soingu just finished his musical Three Musketeers. I did not know he was in that. That's good to know. He's very active in musicals now. Is he? Is he good to know? I like him, but I don't think I would go out of my way to see him in a musical unless he's acting in the musical with Shawnu. That's the only reason I would go see another person if it's related with an MX guy or MX slash 1 0. So, yeah, okay. Soingu, go, go do something with Shawnu. Okay, anyways. Um, Oh, you got five one pack seasons greetings to get the photo cards. Makes sense, makes sense. But you do, you girlfriend. It's okay. It like I've seen some photo cards um that was from seasons greetings that are like more expensive than the actual seasons greetings. So I say, yeah, you do you. Just buy buy five of them. It's probably more worth it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it was a reunion of sorts for Son Gook and Shawnu since Monster X did a tiger. That's right, they did tiger moth. That's right. I like that song. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I forgot they had that. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, you bought a sealed season's greetings for 2024 on Macari. Okay, okay, that's why that's guys. Gian Zanaka, thank you for explaining about it because it was sold out everywhere. Wow, wow, okay, so it just arrived now from Japan. That makes much more sense, but hey, I'm glad that you were able to find it on Macari. Good, good. Wow, did it really sell out that quickly? CIX season's greetings. Good to know. Good to know. Wow. Um, but anyways, glad, glad you are, you have it now. I mean, it's end of March, but hey, later, later than never. And, you know, I'm just opening a season's greetings now. So you and me the same, basically. So it's all good. And Sarah, what's up, girlfriend? Hello, girlfriend. She says, it's been a while. How are I know it's been a long time and I'm perfectly okay. Just, just, I felt like I was in a roller coaster or what, what else did I call, call it? I was in a whirlwind. I was in, I was in another space and time for a month guys okay so anyway so i'm glad to see you guys in the present moment where i'm back to normal but i still don't feel like i'm back to normal yet but i'll slowly get back to normal and so yeah happy to see you guys long time no see and i won't go on vacation for it for a really really long time all right so it's all good and then yeah we'll catch up a lot on a lot of things later for sure um unico says you have until 
259 Korea time April 5th to modify the shipping address. Thanks for the announcement, girlfriend. Yeah, anyone who needs to change their address, you have until April 5th. Like, like just, just do it before April 5th. Just, just know that April 5th is like, yeah, the deadline. Yeah, because of all the time zones. Just do it, yeah, before April 5th is best. Um, excuse me, Jennifer says. Hi, at everyone. She could see many regular chatting mo uh, uh, members from 2021. That's crazy. That's crazy. Have I known you guys since 2021? That's crazy. And yeah, anyways, yeah, it's nice. Nice. A lot of familiar names here. This is so crazy. Why is everyone free on a Thursday night or some of you guys Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon? What are you guys doing? But it's okay. It's okay. I'm glad for the good timing. It's all good. And you're welcome. Okay, okay. So you, you're welcome, Unico. So yeah, I recently shipped um Unico some items. She wanted um some items. And so um um when did I ship to Unico? It must have been before I went to Japan. It must have been. It must have been. I shipped to you before I went to Japan. And she says, Thanks again for the reason. Photo cards is nothing, it's nothing. So any customers out there or future customers, I always like to put gifts um for people's packages, like like just random things I have around my house. Like I have if only you guys can see my house. I have so many random things. And so as long as I know like what kind of fan you are, I try to um give you those items that I know that you're a fan of them, you know? And so so that's why I gave those to you, Unico, it, hoping that you would like them. But I'm glad you like them. Okay, I'm glad. And she says, that's hilarious. I have the weirdest psychic powers, guys. So she said, I think these photo cards, the photo cards I gave her, she says, I think these were the ones I didn't have already. That's hilarious. I have weird psychic powers sometimes, but I'm happy to hear my my ability paying off. And so, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm so glad you like it, Unico. That's that's always what I hope. Um, whenever I give extra stuff that you guys like it, so I'm glad. I'm glad. And so you're very welcome. Don't worry about it. And thank you for for doing another order with me. So yeah, all good. Um, yeah, yeah. And then, hi, hi again. And then Unico says, I stayed up to watch. Who who is of uh, uh, the who is that and their their performance on M Countdown? Okay, cool, cool. I am the only things I know about K-pop these days is only I am's comeback. Yeah, only that one. And I heard about some other people come back in April too. That's all I'm aware of. So yeah, so just FYI, if you guys want to catch me up on anything K-pop related, let me know as well. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. So, so, so I sold to to Unico the large dolls um of 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 Gion Hamshark and Juhan um um Tiger Tiger Dumpling because yeah, I have extras of them and she just contacted me like, do you have them? I'm like, yeah, let me check and I do. And so, anyways, yeah, guys, I have the randomest things in my house. So if you guys are looking for anything, like contact me and I might have it. So just just FYI. Okay, so guys, let's look at this calendar. Okay, finally, finally. Even though it's end of March, I need to I need to use this calendar. So let's see. Let's see how it is. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is so interesting. This is the Monster X style too. Are they all copying each other? No, no, no. There's no way they could be copying each other. But I wonder. I, I personally have never seen this style of a calendar from a K-pop company before. So this was my first time with, with Monster X. When I saw it this way, but now Infinite as well, they did it this way. What's going on? Unless like like the people that they use to make calendars, they're like, hey, you guys should try this new style. And they're like telling everyone that. I don't know. Okay, anyways, anyways. So this just surprised me already to see like a double panel um calendar again. Very interesting. So, anyways, it's still them as high school students here. And so let's flip it one page at a time. It should be double-sided, right? It should be. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. Okay, so first we see here Infinite Seasons Greetings and then the calendar of 2024, like the whole whole year is there. And then January, of course, Sungyu is first. So I think they're still going by age order. So, yeah, so Sungyu, the oldest member, he's here for January. And so um, they don't write... They don't write anything here, but they write it down here. So it says your January 1st is New Year's Day. So I guess um that's how they go about writing the holidays like that, which I think is very interesting. Okay, okay. But I like I really like how simple it is. I'm I'm a I'm a simple beezy. Is that like a phrase or something? I'm such a simple beezy. I really like simple things like that. So I, I think it's it's looking very clean and nice. And then if I turn it, what will what's gonna happen? Oh, interesting. 
Oh, interesting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I turn it. And so this other side is the other is another version of January. So it's just like how Monster X calendar is. So this is like another style of the calendar, another photo of Sungyu. And it shows here December of last year and then the future month, February over there. And it says the holiday inside the box of the day here. Interesting. So it depends on on which, oh, sorry, sorry. So you can't really flip it like that. Okay, okay. So so yeah, it depends on what style you prefer to see the calendar of January. Oh my gosh, but yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. That's quite interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay. And then into February. Yeah. By age order. So the next guy is Dongwu with his bright, bright pink hair. And yeah, so it says here, Woo Hyun's birthday and then the, the national holidays here. And so let's see the other version of February. But I guess, is, is he pink because, you know, he wanted to represent February? I wonder. I wonder. I don't know. But anyways, let's see the other version of February. Yeah, him with his basketball, yeah. And then you flip it like this. Very interesting. So I think that's a little bit like, um, what's the word? It's like, you know, it would be nice if you could just flip it like this for the same month because that's how um, Monster X is. You could just flip it like this for the same month, but then that's not the case for the infinite calendar. But, you know, to each to each their own. So that's, that's the only complaint I have about it for now. But yeah, yeah, again, so cute and simple like that. And then March with Uhyun here and his little camera. So at least for the last few days of March, I'll just look at this for, I mean, given he's my favorite member, so I guess it's not too bad, I guess, I guess. Yeah, and all the um, holidays here. And then the, the other version of March. Yeah, this one. It, yeah, yeah, like this. Okay, cute, cute. Very cute. And then into my birthday month, we see Sung Yol for it. So yeah, here's April. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like Sung Yol is a cool guy, but I'm just I don't know. He I don't know. No, he's a cool guy. I don't I don't want to diss on him, but it's just I don't know. I don't have like I don't have a lot to say about him, you know. So anyways, anyway, let's keep going. What's the other other way for April? Oh, like this. No, 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 yeah, yeah, it's like this. Okay. Like this, okay. Like this, okay. Yeah, that's the other photo of him. Good, 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 good. Okay, and then May, we see this handsome little guy, Elegant. Like he's he's just such a photogenic person. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. So that's something nice to look at for May. Okay, and then, yeah, all the holidays here. And then how do I turn it? I oh, like this, like this, May. And then L photo here. Got it, got it, got it. That's the other L photo. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay. And then June is Sung Jung here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Again, just all, all looking the same. We're just basically here to see the different photos. That's all. And then how do I how do I change it? How do I what? Yeah, yeah, like this, like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like this, like this. Okay, okay. Okay, and then June, and then Sung Jung here again. Okay, nice. And then we're in the different clothes. So we see Sung Yu again, this time for July. Yeah, yeah. With the youthfulness, you know, of the toys, which is why they made the theme like this, just forever, like, young together. You know, basically, that was, like, their message. Just very sweet, very sweet. So I, I'm not dissing about the concept anymore. I understand now why they're doing this youthful concept now. So it's all good. All good. And then the other side of July. There we go. Yeah, yeah. The other side of July like this. Yeah, yeah. Cute, cute, cute. And then we see Dongwu again, this time for August. Yeah, he's just being silly, the silly guy here. Yeah. Yeah, just silly, silly. And then I keep forgetting which way I need to turn. I think it's this way. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Here we go. The other one for August. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. He's he's very happy with his little juice box. <laughs> I don't know. Like, Dongwu is, 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 is always like a silly guy, so I just feel like that really represents him. So anyways. And then we see Uhyun for September. Yeah, cute, cute. And then, and then how do I turn it? I think it's like this. Is it like this? It's, it's, 
Wait, how do I turn it? Hold on. Wait. Like, like, like this. Okay, okay, okay. And then the other side of September. Okay, cute, cute. Cute, cute. And then Sung Yol for October. Okay, cute, cute. What's he doing? Okay, whatever. Okay, and then... And then I turn it this way. Yes, yes, I turn it this way. October, and then the other photo of him. Okay, eh, okay, he's still, he's like, he he can't be like childish. He still looks kind of handsome, you know, so I'm whatever. Okay, anyways, anyways, and then L for November here. Very cute, very cute. And then, and then, yes, the other side of November like this, like this. Yeah, yeah, isn't he such a cute looking guy? My gosh. So cute looking. And then and then December with Song Jung again. The last month. And then how do I turn it again? I turn it like this. Okay. And that's the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I wish they could have had one where it's like the whole group kind of thing. But it's okay. It's okay. I mean, since six six members and, you know, with 12 months just split evenly. I, I get it. I get it. Okay, so first... Let's go back to March. Where's March? Okay. Okay. Which, which, what kind of March do I prefer? I think I prefer, let's, let's see a bigger photo of Woohyun for March since it's only a few days. Yeah, like this, right? Yeah, I like this, like this. Okay, so so let me let me put it here. Do you see all this like Hyungwon Wellay stuff here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't know what else to put there. Okay, okay. Don't look at that. Oh, no, no, don't. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And it's 1040. Okay, 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 timing. Well, while I'm here, I should explain to you guys what happened to my wall. So, first off, I used to have a toaster oven here. But I'm like, hey, I never used this toaster oven. Like, I could, I could have better use of the space for my dolls if I just move the toaster oven. So I moved the toaster oven, and I'm still working on organizing it because I got some new dolls from Japan and even Busan. Yeah, yeah, so I got some new stuff, and I'm still trying to organize it here. So for now, it's just... Yeah, I'll organize it later. But then, but then do you see this big old bear? So this bear, um, my brother got it from a crane machine in Busan. I mean, I mean, he he got more than than one doll, so the rest of the dolls um were giving to our niece, but but I wanted to keep one, you know, to to uh remember his success of getting it from a claw machine. So I decided to get this bear, so that's why I put him here. Yeah, cute, right? Cute. Okay. Okay, so guys, we have a lot to talk about, okay? So for the next hour and a half until midnight, because I believe at midnight, it should be I Am's album preview for his new album. So starting at midnight, when it turns March 29th, I believe, I believe that's when it's going to come out. And so that's why I started this live to begin with. And let's just get a lot of, you know, what's the, what do we call that? Let's, just, let's clean things up a bit, you know, let's clean things, you know, you know, so you guys get me. Okay. So I just want to like do as much as I can during this time and then go into, um, when is album preview. And thankfully I'm here going back to normal. And the first thing, um, we can talk about concerning I am's comeback is the album preview, you know? So like, yeah, it's kind of good timing, I guess, but, but also I do want to talk about those photos. I mean, <sighs> we'll talk about that later. Okay. So anyways, anyways, so so let me let me go by you guys' comments of like what are the things to talk about first and and going from there. All right, okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Um, um, <clears throat> uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay. So Gianzarka says I saw that same style of calendar, like this two flapper one. Um. 
um, in an unboxing video from a few years ago. So other groups have had that before. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, I would like to believe, of course, this is not the first time any group has ever done it. I, I don't want to believe that. Sorry. But, but like, I, sorry if, I, if that's what it made me sound like. That's not, that's not what, but for me personally, I've never seen a calendar look like this before from a K-pop group. But then again, I don't buy a lot of calendars to begin with. I only started buying it um, with MX and Wano. And so I personally have never seen them do this before. And so that's that's just overall just my shock about it. It's just, oh, that's just so crazy. They want to do something new, you know? So that's that's overall what I was like trying to say of me being surprised about it. But but for sure, for sure, I would like to believe other K-pop groups have done it before. For real, for real. But I'm, I'm still shocked because of Infinite um that they would do a two flapper in the same year that mx does a two flapper and so that was that was my concern of like wow what are the chances of that happening you know because i don't think this is common for k-pop groups to do either right since i rarely have seen about it so that's that's overall my 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 only um surprise about them like wanting to do a two flapper calendar when usually it will be like you know the regular one like this you know yeah so yeah that was just interesting to see yeah just just two calendars having two flaps yeah that's it yeah um um uh-huh uh -huh. okay okay so unico likes cix awesome awesome perfect for fans as they can customize by changing their biases each month that's the thing that's the thing i saw some fans already do that with the two flapper it's like if you don't want to go with the member that goes according with that month which is you know what i have here i like to go according to um the photo that goes with each month but but if you don't like that photo for some reason then you could change it to like a member photo that you want instead to see with the calendar so yeah that's the thing it's more like customizable that way but i i personally like to go with the photo that corresponds with that month though yeah so yeah i'm i'm just that's just my style yeah um <clears throat> Um, your desk is big enough for one of those desk calendars. Do it, do it. Okay, great, great. Um, uh huh. Uh -huh. Are they wearing high school? Yes, Lulu. Yeah, yeah. They are wearing high school uniforms. And I was, I was thinking, um, in the beginning of this video when you weren't here, I was thinking like these guys are all, all members of Infinite are over thirty years old. Why are they wearing high school uniforms? You know. So I was complaining about that earlier but then with the message um with the message in the book is is that they wanted to go with the youth concept of like you know thanks for being together with us and having our youth be so bright and and infinitely forever and below you know just cheesy things like that so but, but it's very very touching so that's why they went with this uh, this um youthful concept for this year's season's greeting so i think that's very that's very touching so now i don't think um i don't think um badly about it anymore it's it's very nice why they decided on this concept yeah but but i hope to see them do more mature you know manly looking things you know you know in the future of course that's personally for me it just you know okay anyways um um uh makes them look like fourth gen idols i mean if that's the reason if they want to like i don't know try to seem younger i don't know who knows but but i still i still think infinite guys along with um most people who are millennials i think i think we all look really good for our ages and so so the infinite guys really look the same since 14 years ago in my opinion so i'm just like there's something in our genetics like what's going on here and yeah just funny um um oh don't don't worry when i'm like yawning don't worry okay um um uh-huh uh-huh um so yeah so so you guys like personal chat i'm not i'm not reading out here so you guys you guys chat away um mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay okay so unico already has the ch the hyungwon plushies great great uh huh. But you keep all of them in their plastic packaging, okay? And your cat, your cat keeps chewing on it. Okay, 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 okay. And like, like maybe like put it. Actually, aren't cats quite nimble? I mean, if you could keep it somewhere where your cat can't nip at it. Anyway, it's okay. It's okay. But yeah, hope hope you you um hope your cat never damages your items. That's most important. Um. 
Um, no, no, no. So Unico asked me, are all Korean high school uniforms the same? Not at all. Not at all. It depends on the school. So I believe each school has their own uniform. Like, I don't think two schools would have the same uniform unless they just want to but i think that's pretty rare to happen and so and so yeah i i when i go out and i see um high school students i usually see them in various uniforms which is because of different schools yeah 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 um but like the this high school uniform that they're wearing here i think it's just a generic one i don't think it's a real one done by a school my my personal um guess about it i i yeah i big i mean given they're all over 30 years old as well. And so, so yeah, so I think they're just like dressed like generic um, high school uniform. Yeah. Um, um, uh, 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 right, 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 yeah. And then you guys answering about it, um, about the high school uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then Unico says, isn't because Asians don't age? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I mean, I mean, not all Asians are the same. Of course not. So like, like this just reminded me because I was thinking about this for the other musical actor who's Anatole, his name is Golden Sun. So he was on the Soin Guk um show with all of them. So like Leo is also Anatole along with Sean. And so the other guy, Golden Sun, I was shocked because he said I'm the same age as Leo. So so Leo is 1990. So Golden Sun is the same age as me. So so I was so I was really really shocked because because I've only seen Golden Sun's um photo, you know, because of the great comment, you know, the promo photos. I've only seen them in photos. I honestly thought he would be older than me. He looks like he's older than me. But then when he revealed he's the same age as Leo, which is the same age as me, I'm like excuse me so i was really really shocked to know that he's the same age as me he really looks older than me so anyways it was to each their own okay so 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 to each their own some asians can look old some asians look young what can we do you know so anyways but you know i am kind of curious to go see golden song as well um acting as anatole but i i'm still thinking about it because it's it's i mean the cheapest seats um for the musical i believe I believe it's 40 US dollars, which is not bad. It's not bad. So I'm thinking if I want to spend that much to see how Golden Sung is as Anatole, because after watching the Song Guk show, he's an amazing singer, but as he should be, he's a he's a he's a full-time musical actor. So that's why, of course, he he sings that way and he's amazing. And so I'm very curious to see how he acts as Anatole as well. And also I still can't believe he's the same age as me. And so 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 I, I I'm now like kind of curious about him, but I don't know. I'll 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 let you guys know if I if I do plan to um see it again, but this time to see Golden Sung as Anatole. I I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, but let's let's talk about that in one second. Um uh, Unico says it must be their Korean skincare routine. I'm so, oh, yeah, it could be. It could be. I mean, I've been doing skincare um on myself since I was like 18 years old. But but starting at 18 years old, um, it's not because of my mom. It was because of like the friends I was with. They were like, yeah, you should start young to like um take care of your skin. And I'm like, yeah, you know, like, like there's there's no reason I shouldn't start when I'm 18, right? And so I do think like that my skincare since I started at 18 years old like results in me like looking pretty okay at 33 at least i hope so but but um but yeah yeah that's the thing and so yeah to anyone out there who's still young like you're never too young to start skincare in general but i do think maybe starting like 18 years old is okay i mean 16 maybe depends depends on how how you're feeling but i mean just just like overall you know cleansing and um moisturizing i feel like that's just a basic thing to do to like take care of your skin and also it helps with um not getting acne and stuff you know so i mean i think it's, it's a good habit to um try and do when you're a teenager and it might be anti-aging in the long run but but regardless if you have genetics that make you look old you know you cannot fight genetics okay so so it could be the thing as well but but regardless regardless skincare i think in general is important for everyone no matter no matter what yeah no matter what yeah skincare is is good for you um um lula says i remember watching my sassy girl when people went to a dance club wearing their high school uniforms is that still a thing oh my gosh i remember that in the movie now my sassy girl was like 20 years ago right oh my gosh but it's it's still a classic um 
Um, you know, I think maybe sometimes I think some, but I don't think it's it's a trending thing to do to um to wanna um go to a nightclub and be in your high school uniform as like kind of like a rebellious or like a nostalgia kind of thing. Um, but the thing is, I don't go to nightclubs, of course, because yeah, no, 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 I don't go to nightclubs, so I can't, I can't, um, I can't personally um tell you guys what what happens, but um. As far as I can see, I don't, th you know, as, as, you know, just what I hear and see from other people, I don't think it's something super trendy to um go in your high school uniform, but just, just maybe every so often if someone just really wants to um just have some kind of silly thing to do, that's how I imagine that's what that would be. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, yeah. So, so Unico says she has seen vlogs of renting school uniforms and going to an amusement park. Yeah, yeah. Or do a couple date is popular. I don't know how popular is that though. So, so yeah, yeah. Like, like, you know, like each time and each person is different. And so just based on the vlog, I don't know if that like, um, if that says for everyone, you get what I mean? So, so always, always like, don't, don't like take things like too much, like, that's what everyone is doing, like, like, most likely not. And so I do know, um, at the amusement parks, at least here in Seoul, there's a place where you can rent school uniforms, which is, which is true. And so if you just want to have the nostalgic feeling and want to be, um, back in high school again, yeah, you could rent a high school uniform, but I don't know how popular that is though. But then again, they have a renting place there for a reason, right? So like, it must have some interest, but I, I honestly don't know how popular that is though. So yeah, yeah. So just just my personal opinion about it. And then couple dates, couple dates. I don't know. I don't know. So what I see usually, at least out in public, is that couples like to dress the same, but but not in high school uniform though. So I I usually see them like have like the same exact shirt or pants or shoes. So like not like a matching thing, but they're wearing the exact same clothes. And so I think that's a thing that will always be a trend in Korea is that they the couples like to wear the exact same clothes. But but I feel like that goes in line with K-pop singers too. Like you guys know, like when you see um a certain K-pop singer is like wearing a certain thing or something and you want to have the exact same thing. I think it has that kind of like feeling about it. It's just like as a couple, not that we're being a couple with K-pop singers, but just um, it's something like it's more meaningful that you're wearing the exact same thing for some reason. But but yeah, just when when I'm when I go outside, I usually see that the most is that they're wearing the exact same thing. It's interesting. It's interesting. So they have to like pick clothes that can look good on both a guy and a girl. But I remember recently I saw a couple having like pink pants together. I'm like, hmm. But but I mean they still looked okay, but I was just like, hmm, that's interesting, you know. So, anyways, yeah, so it's just yeah, yeah. So to each their own, yeah. Um sunscreen is number one in Korea. I mean, if if people don't know how important sunscreen is, please spread the word. Every single person should be wearing sunscreen. Even if it's a cloudy day, you still need to wear sunscreen and make sure it's at least SPF. 50 i think 50 at least spf 50 and so yeah just yeah just sunscreen as well really really important i wear sunscreen every single day and who knows if that's been helping me oh, anyways yeah no matter what wear your sunscreen yes um lulu says we must compare notes after i well yes after i watched the great comment yes yes let us know what the merch is like yes girlfriend so let's talk about great comment now so i'm gonna see it for the first time on march 30th two days from now oh, I feel like I'm still in the whirlwind I just I technically just finished my vacation yesterday and three days later I'm gonna go see the great comet okay but it's not seeing Shawnu but I'm gonna go see Leo so so the lineup is K Will as Pierre Yeon Jung who I like that that's the person I like I'm um, from Cosmic Girls Yeon Jung will be Natasha and Leo as Anatole I'm still very excited to see it. And so my seat, um, because since I don't know how the seating really looks like, I really want to um, see it in person before I pick any more shows so that I know exactly how the seat is. And so the seat I got is the, is I feel like is the most generic one I could pick that I will be fine with it. And also the price of for it is really good. So that's my first time of seeing the show is like, an, is like a really, really generic seat. It's not super good. I don't think it's super good given it's a very, um, it's not a very expensive one, but I, I will show to you guys when I'm there before the show starts. I'm pretty sure I'm okay to record before the show starts. So I can, I can show to you guys like how everything is. So yeah, March 30th evening time 
if you guys are awake at that time, I'm, I'm going to be showing um, everything at that time and then tweeting during the during the musical, like how I'm feeling about everything and all, you know, my review about all the singers and stuff. And and yeah, and then after that, once I finally know how exactly the seats are, then I will choose what day to see Shonu again in April. I would like to see him again in April. I honestly would. And so, oh, but the thing is, like, like um, they open more tickets for May shows now. But honestly, honestly, I really want to see him two times in April. I mean, it's my favorite month of the year. Come on, you know? So I, I'm kind of thinking I want to see Shonu twice in April. And so after March 30th, I, I'll know exactly what kind of seats I want to get for the next Shawnee show, I will see. But but the ticket I already got for Shawnee show on April 17, the day before my birthday, that ticket I got and that seat I got there, I'm not changing. I just I feel I feel okay with that seat that I picked there. And and for sure I want to see him on April 17th. And so that ticket for sure I still have. But another day in April, I would like to see Shawnee again. And I'm still thinking, yeah, what day it would be because it depends on the people, like, for sure, I'm never going to see him perform with that other girl of Cosmic Girls. I, I, I feel pretty sure I'm not going to enjoy her. So so I, I know I know I'm, I'm assuming a lot. Like, I should see her maybe at least once before I judge her. But I really, I don't know. I, I've, I've known this. You know, sorry, I, I can't say I've, I've known this girl for a long time. But I've known Cosmic Girls for quite some time now. And just everything every time when i see this girl perform and when she talks and stuff i don't know she just she always irks me and her name is subin by the way so the subin girl who's also going to play natasha she always irks me for some reason and so i just really want to play it safe not waste my money and i really don't want to see her and so 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 anyway so with shanu like the only shows i want to see him perform is with um either the musical actress jisoo or with yeon jung of cosmic girls and so so I will pick only those shows and, and yeah, and then, yeah, I'll pick the seats that I want based on what I see on March 30th. So yeah, guys, I, I want to go see him again in April. So that's my plan for now. Um, and yes, yes. I'll also show you guys merch. Yeah. On March, they, they have merch every single day. And so since I'm going there already on March 30th, I will, I will show how the merch is there and i'm thinking if i want to buy something or not i'm thinking about it we'll see i mean for myself but the, but any customers that want my help to get anything of course let me know it's all good um what else to say about it um oh yeah yeah so so i only read briefly um how shawnee's show was yesterday like i wish I wish I could have seen yesterday, but as I just told you guys, my brother left Korea yesterday. So that's what I mean. If you guys remember a long time ago, like I can't see that show is because my brother was leaving on that day. So what good timing Shawnu has this little busy, right? But it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, I really did wanted to see that first show of his because he was performing with Yeon Jung. And I was like, ah, I was like so sad. You know, it's his first show and he's performing with Yeon Jung. I would have liked to have seen it, but it was impossible for me. I had to uh, go to the airport with my brother. So it's okay. So, but anyways, but I saw um, what people wrote online about it. They said that Shawnee did a really good job. Um, I personally am not. And so, so for me personally, I still want to go in with low expectations because what they think is amazing. I might not think is amazing. I mean, you guys know I'm usually the black sheep, as you guys know, right? So I'm still going in with low expectations. I really don't think Shawnee will impress me. But 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 here's the thing. It's great to have low expectations because what if he does impress me? Then, you know, you're right. It's like there's really no harm done of having low expectations, <laughs> you know? So, so I'm going in with low expectations. Like, I really don't expect him to wow me. I'm just there to just support him and see him and just enjoy his his um, musical debut and yeah and then just whatever but we'll see we'll see so yeah I as always will give my honest opinion so I'll let you guys know um how Shawnee is once I'm able to go see him um but but Leo and Yeon Jung and Kay will I mean I I should have low expectations but I honestly have like Let's say mid expectations. I'll, I'll try to keep it in the middle. I have mid range good expectations that they're they're gonna impress me because they're such talented people, you know. So I I mean I really, I I really don't think they're gonna disappoint. So for now I keep as at middle expectation. But yeah, I'm very excited to go see them this Saturday for sure. Um, what else to say? Um, 
Yeah, and I just mentioned this earlier. I'm I'm curious to see how Goen Song is as Anna told, but I'm still thinking about it after I see Leo and Shawnu. Then I'll I think I'll decide after if I want to go see Goen Song. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about him. But yeah, so so we'll see on that later. Um, um excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I still don't have Shawnu's bubble. And I'm glad I still don't because during my vacation, um, I am was doing some bubble stuff and I couldn't, I couldn't keep up with it because I was, you know, busy almost all the time, you know? And so, yeah, I couldn't keep up with anyone's bubble. So I'm glad I still don't have his bubble, but I'm still thinking if I should restart on this bubble, but for now, I'm still, I'm still. I'm still not feeling it for now, for now, but I, I still only have I am and Shawnu. I don't know. I'm still iffy about it for now, but I saw um from Twitter that he posted on, on Bubble about, yeah, his musical and his feelings and what he ate. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Um, mm, I think that's it. Is there anything else to talk about? If there's anything else that I missed, um, yeah, they had catch up with me. Um, anything about the great comment and yes so lulu we will compare notes after i see it this saturday yeah yeah um lulu says i can never get into wearing identical clothing honestly i don't either i don't either but then again i never really experienced that with a with with a with a guy i like like you know let's dress exactly the same i i haven't, I haven't experienced that but i i don't know i'm not into cheesy things that's the thing so i find that very cheesy but but I'll try to, I'll try to like, um, what's the word? I'll try to understand, like, what if my boyfriend really does want to do that with me? I'll try to be understanding, like, if he likes things like that. But I'm like, you know, we can do like other stuff that's not as cheesy. You know, I, I'll try to negotiate with him. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm still, I, overall, I'm not too into matchy things as a couple. I'm still, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a very weird person in general. That's the thing. I think usually Korean girls usually like this kind of like cheesy stuff, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm of course not a, not a, um, what's the word? I'm not even Korean born to begin with. Yeah. So, I mean, eh, anyways, anyways, I totally agree with you. Um, Lou says, I don't mind color matching, but clothes matching is weird to her unless you go to a sporting event. I agree. I agree. Color matching, sure, but then wearing the exact same clothes. Yeah, that's 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 what I usually see with Korean couples. Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. Um, oh, thanks, girlfriend. Gian Zanaka tells me, hope you have an amazing time at the show. I surely want to believe I will. I hope so, but again, I'm still going to keep mid expectations but but definitely low expectations wish on it but yeah i i really i really hope i really want to believe we'll be okay but anyways but well, thank you for the well wishes yes yes um unico says when i attend musicals i always bought the souvenir programs ah oh, magnus if they had them sometimes t-shirts mugs and sometimes the cast recordings wow wow you go to musicals often wow so i did I get anything from from one of those musical that I keep for myself? I honestly can't remember. Like like they had night like the photo course stuff I thought was okay and the OST the OST album. I honestly can't remember. I think maybe I kept the masking tape from one of those equal musical. I think I need I need I need to see see what what I have um um later. But yeah yeah I would like to keep like some kind of souvenir. So the badges I think might be the best one for me. But with the program too, that's right. The program. I'll see. So once I'm there and I see it in person, I think that'll be um easier for me to decide what I want to get for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um you guys agree. Yeah, you would feel so weird to wear the exact same thing, right? Right. I think just the Korean couples, they really are into it for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's it's just a Korean thing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, two, but two east their own. There, there surely would be some like non-Asian people that probably likes it, right? So let, let's not let's not generalize. Let's not generalize um too much like that. But but I do find it interesting that most of you guys agree with me. But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I, I'm still trying to think what's 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 something I could do that I'm okay with um with my boyfriend. I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, I, I appreciate it more. Like, you have your own style. I have my own style, you know? Um, but if you want to have something like matching thing, um, I don't know. I don't 
don't know. I, I like I'm trying to think of any other things that's like matching that that's like uh, I don't know. You know, you know, I think the best thing is just to get married. Okay. <laughs> Because when you get married, you wear a wedding ring together. Okay, that's the only thing I'm okay with matching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Except before marriage, anything else? I, I don't. I can't think of anything that I would be okay with. Yeah, I can't think of anything. Okay, anyways, anyways, to each their own. Okay, to each their own. If you guys like, yeah, anything like that or not, but I'm definitely, I'm definitely just not not into things like that. Um. Will I be doing an Instagram live? Yes, I will, Unico. Yes. Yeah, so when I'm there in my seat, I want to do an Instagram live at that time. Even when I'm going there, like I still want to show you guys like everything about it, like before even entering in. So I'll do that all in my Instagram live on creatine for sure. I'll do that. Yes, 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 yes. Um, except, you know, when the show, when the musical is starting, I'll only be tweeting about what's going on at that time. Mm -hmm. Lulu says the line, that, that lineup sounds great. Despite not seeing Shawnee. Right, right. That's why I decided to, that this day would be good. And also, since it, it'll be after my brother leaves um, Korea. So I just felt like that's the best time. And I really want to see it um, as soon as I can. And so March 30th was the absolute earliest. And the cast members that I want to see. So that's why I'm going March 30th. Yeah. And even if it's not Shawnee, I'm going to say Shawnee many times. Okay. So yeah, don't don't worry, Shawnee. Okay. I'll see you soon. Um. Um, L Lulu says L Leo should do well, and you may see a different side of him. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. And Lulu says, "Should I fly to Seoul to see Shawna?" <laughs> she says, "So tempting to do that." I mean, if you have the time and money, why not, girlfriend? But if not, then wait, wait. I think you should save your money until Wano comes back, right? Right? Shouldn't you, Lulu? <laughs> so, anyway, but up to you. Like, I I hear on um. Not here. I saw on Twitter some people flying to Korea to see Shawnee's musical, which I think, like, you go. You know, you do you. And so, so yeah, yeah. Do You do you. I'm, yeah. Um, Unico says, it looks like Shawnee dyed his hair black. <gasps> really? Okay, so, so, so in yesterday's musical, it was still brown, right? At least based on the tweet, right? But then today, it's black. Really? I thought he was going to keep it brown the whole entire time. Okay. That's good to know. Wow, wow, wow. Um, uh, Unico says, I have a fan of the opera mug in which the mask appears when the mug is filled with something. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I really like cool things like that. Great comment. Doesn't seem like they have anything cool like that. That's okay. But fans of the opera, that's cool. That's cool. Yes, yes. Leo is from the group called Fix. But from what I heard recently, Leo left Jellyfish along with Ken. Wait, wait. Didn't everyone? Wait. So, 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 FYI, I don't know what's going on with Fix anymore. But Leo was still in the musical. So I guess he was under a different company for his musical acting or something. But yeah, when I saw that news that. They left jellyfish, right? And so I'm just like, so what's going to happen? But I don't, know. I don't know. And then Hyuk. So Hyuk is the youngest member of VIX. He's going to go to the military on my birthday. I, I remember it was near my birthday. It was it on my birthday? But yeah, I was just so surprised because I'm like, oh my gosh, he's enlisting near my birthday. Like something around there. I'm like, interesting. But by the way, Hyuk is born 1995. So I'm a little bit confused about what's going on with the age limits and when they have to enlist. And so, oh yeah, talking about I am. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about I am later. But but at this rate, I guess I am actually won't enlist until next year. We'll talk about that later when we talk more about I am's comeback. Um, Lulus is going to see Shawnu play the violin. That's right, and act like he's living the the open mind life is worth it. What do you mean open mind life? What do you mean by that? Because I, I'm wondering if, if you're talking about um Wano's open mind. Is that what you mean? D let me know. Yeah, let me know. But but I am very curious to see, yeah, how Shawnee was with the violin. Should be very fun. Um restart it when I am in list later this year. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Is Shawnee really playing the violin? I do believe so. He said he's been practicing, so I do believe he's really playing it. Yeah. Um 
Unico says, I haven't been to a musical in a while because I've been spending your, y you've been spending your extra dough on K-pop related stuff. Makes sense. Makes sense. And so when you don't have lots of K-pop to spend on, then you will spend on musicals. So regardless, it's okay. You do you. You do you. Do what you prefer to do more. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Lulu says, Sean, you said on Bubble he wanted to smash. <laughs> that's right. That's right. But he couldn't because it was a rental. He's <laughs> And he's responsible. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine learning to play the violin at this late of age. I mean, it must not be as easy. And yeah, he wanted to smash it. He's hilarious. But it's uh, surely it, it all pay, pays off. And yeah, he's, he's going to do great playing the violin during the musical. That's all that matters. Yeah. Um, the tickets aren't cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that right. Um, You got an arts worker ticket for 35 bucks for the comic show in Toronto. That's awesome. It was so worth it. I, I sure hope it was. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, Gian Sonica, that's right, that's right. I think about that often, not not often, but I think, when I think about Cherry, I think about, oh my gosh, I wonder how she's doing. But yes, Gian Sonica says, speaking about getting married, anyone know how Cherry is doing? Hope everything went just as she hoped. Okay, yeah, so girlfriend, after she got married, which was um the first week of February, I think we've seen her briefly in my lives, but I don't think I was doing a lot of lives in February because I was quite busy, you know, preparing before my Taiwan trip and stuff. And then all of March, I was busy, as you guys know. So yeah, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know how she's been doing. But yeah, hopefully we'll see her in, in a live eventually. But I can assume she's busy with her married life. Of course, you know, it's totally different after you get married. And um, I wonder if she's planning to have kids soon. So who knows? Who knows? But I wish her all the best and hope that it's all going fine. Yeah, yeah. Cherry, if you're watching this later, hope we hear from you later and hope you're doing okay and yeah hope hope to see you later um Unico says some people don't wear wedding rings that's right that's right I know some people that don't wear yeah yeah and some wear tattoos yeah yeah, yeah. I I mean do you guys know the actor um Dax Shepard yeah yeah so he's hilarious by the way that's 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 the only reason I know him I I see his interviews and he's hilarious um but yeah he doesn't like to wear um rings and so he's his wedding ring is tattooed on his finger yeah 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 um and then Unico says, I've noticed that Koreans wear their wedding bands on their right hands. And same with engagement rings. I never noticed that. Really? I, I assumed they would always put on their left hand. Hmm, that's interesting. And so yeah, yeah, to each their own. Um, yeah. So for me personally, like I I'm not a fan of jewelry to begin with, only earrings. And so um, I always do wonder this, like, hopefully I will get married, but we don't know if we're gonna, if I'm going to get married. But but if I do get married, I do wonder, will I be comfortable wearing my wedding ring? But I would like to wear it. I would, but I don't know if I'll, if, if I'll be comfortable with rings. So like one thing I don't like about rings is that my fingers are quite slender. So, so any kind of ring I wear, it always falls off. And so I, I'm, I'm like, why do I even wear them if they always fall off? And it's just so annoying. And then my skin is quite sensitive. So when I wear a ring for a long time, my skin gets weird. And so I'm just like, I should never wear jewelry. And so anyways, I just wonder, um, will I be okay with my wedding ring? So I was just thinking, um, maybe I don't need to wear it. Like maybe I could wear it as a necklace. I think a necklace I, I'll be okay with and it won't easily get lost. So I was thinking if I could do that or maybe I could have it as like an earring, like my wedding ring as an earring. I don't know. So yeah, I, I think about that just briefly, but I'm not even in a relationship yet. <laughs> but, but, but I do I do think about that. Like I maybe I won't really want to wear a ring, but I still would like to wear it as something though and so yeah anyways anyways why why am i oh, yeah, anyways but yeah yeah i you know yeah i i i i think about that so anyways um yes Gia's on the cut. i i thought you saw i i i'm i'm shocked you don't know this news yeah yeah i remember i don't remember when but it, i think it was when i was in japan i was just randomly on twitter like like i don't know like i was the, the very very rare random times when i was on twitter and i saw the news that um they left jellyfish excuse me but i can't remember if it's all three of them but i do remember for sure leo 
anyways, I, I know. But the thing is, I, I didn't stay on the page long enough to see all the details. And so, yeah, I just saw that news. And I was like, oh, but I wonder, because because I remember thinking, I wonder how Leo is going to be um, doing the musical then for Great Comet, since this is like very weird timing. But then as we see, he's still going to do the Great Comet. But I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of confused, though, what exactly is his like company now? And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Vix anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so everyone left Jellyfish. Okay, so all the VIX members are free. Okay, okay. So again, that still confuses me. Like, what the heck is going on with N? So like, N was still part of VIX, but he's not part of the company. So, so then is everyone else like basically the same? I don't know. So this again is very confusing to me. So Hyuk did leave. Okay, and N already left. Okay. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. So so then the news I read must have only said Leo and Ken then. Okay, okay. So Leo and Ken are still with Jellyfish, unless you miss it. Okay, okay. So then this, this, so then me trying to remember what I read is is Leo and, and Ken. I do remember seeing at least two people. So so Leo and Ken are no longer with Jellyfish recently. Like th this is this recently happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Unico telling me. To restart Shawnee's bubble after I am in list. Got it, got it, got it, got it. I mean, I mean, it's not something that's gonna um that's gonna um that's difficult for me to do because I am's bubble is not on Starship while while um Shawnee's bubble is on Starship. And so if that's not gonna be um an issue with me, like how the other members were on it's just I I hate bubble and the subscription is so hard to deal with. So 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 but but I do I do see what you're talking about. Is that after I'm done with IM's bubble, then why not just start Sean News Bubble at that time? Why not? Why not? Why not? So so what so a concern I have with that is is um Minioc would come back this October. You know, that's still crazy to think about this at end of this year. We're going to see Wano and Minhyuk. And then a few months later, Juhan, Gion, and Hyungwon. It's still wild to me. And so, so anyways, a few months from now, Minhyuk, who does Starship Bubble, he'll be back. So then if I have Shonu's Bubble and then adding on Minhyuk's Bubble, it might be very confusing. So 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 that's that's where I think about, like, how am I going to be adding each member's Bubble when they're all going to come back? Yeah, that does concern me. <sighs> at that at as i as i just you know as i'm exasperating thinking about how how difficult that's gonna be at that rate i guess maybe i shouldn't add sean news bubble until minhyuk comes yeah so that i could just have both sean and minhyuk at the same time i think would make it easier for me and then one member after another. Hopefully, I can deal with it. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be so annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, anyways, Unico, thank you for suggesting that to me. But now I just realized. Yeah, I probably should wait until Minhyo comes back. Would be better, unless I don't want to add Minhyo's bubble. But then again, I have his days like you know stacked up ever since he went to the military. So I wonder if I don't restart his bubble then do i lose all those days <sighs> oh it's gonna be so annoying to deal with yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so at this rate at this rate shawnu doesn't do a lot on bubble so that's that kind of makes me like not be too willing to get his bubble anyway so yeah maybe i should just wait until end of this year once minhyo comes back and then see what ha what i have to do and then add add, add in shawnu together with minhyo i think would be better so annoying gosh okay okay but yeah yeah but thank you for helping me like um organize that in my head because i was really wondering when when what i should do about shawnee's bubble but yeah i think i should wait until then yeah open mind equals anatole is hot and a bad guy is that what you mean oh okay okay, okay good to know um the the description of anatole is that he's a he hedonist and that he is married but still lusts after natasha oh no oh no i thought he was single oh no 
Oh, that doesn't make me feel good that he's married and he's and he's going after Natasha. I thought he was playing a single guy who's like a ladies' man kind of thing. Why is Shanu playing a character I don't like? But it's okay. It's okay. I'll wait until I see the musical and how it is. Because Leo, I like Leo, but uh, okay, okay. We'll we'll see after I watch it. Okay, but thanks you guys for telling me beforehand. Yeah, hope Terry is doing well. I agree. And secretly listening. I hope so. Maybe she's secretly listening. Yeah. And surely she'll be back for one. Oh, that's right. That's right. Surely she'll be back by then. That's right. Couple rings seem to be required in Korea. Oh my gosh. That's a wild thing. I still can't, I can't wrap my mind around is that you're not married, you're not engaged, but couples who are just boyfriend, girlfriend, they want to get a couple ring and they wear it on their left hand. So my brother actually, when we were um hanging out in Korea, she said, "Oh, you know that couple, they're engaged." He, like he saw like they each had a, had a ring on their left hand, and I'm like, "Oh, most likely they're not." And so I had to I had to explain that to my brother. He's like, "Really? They wear rings when they're not married or engaged?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that's a thing in Korea." And he's like, "That's weird." And I'm like, "I know, I know." And so, anyways, yeah. And then me telling you guys, yeah, it's weird, right? But they they, I I don't know why they want to do that unless hopefully they have the they have the future in mind that they want to get married with each other. If you for real want to get married with each other, then yeah, go ahead and have a couple ring, I guess. But but I find that weird if you don't have plans to get married, but you want to get a couple ring. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, anyways, yeah, I can never understand Korean dating culture. But then again, I'm not a native Korean. So I think that that's probably why. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just you do you. You know, if they like it, go ahead. But yeah, I'm I'm definitely not into it. Um, uh, Jennifer says some couple gift a watch instead of a wedding ring. Wow, that's not bad. That's not bad as a watch. Oh, that's good to. That's a good option. Yeah. Um, or many volleyball players wear the ring through a chain of necklace. That's what I was thinking that I might do. Yeah, yeah. And we don't need to care about it seriously. You're right. You're right. Of course not. Right, right. I, but I definitely would feel weird if I'm married and not wearing a ring, though. You get me? You know, so I, I would like to have some kind of symbolism of me being married. That's the thing. So so that's that's my personal thing. about. But it doesn't I don't have to wear a ring. Yeah, yeah. So it's just up, up to preference. But yeah, I really don't like wearing rings. That's the thing. Yeah. Um, OK, yeah. So it was. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was recent. Yeah. yeah. And and Guillaume Zonica says, I didn't see anything about that yet. That's crazy. You didn't see anything about that yet. But you're you're glad you're glad that they left jellyfish. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear. So I didn't read the article closely of um, them leaving like the reason, blah, blah, blah. But, but definitely, definitely look it up. It must be somewhere on the web somewhere. Yeah. About them leaving. But yeah, yeah, for sure. Happened within this month. I, I remember just reading about it briefly. So I, I feel like I was in Japan when I read it. So yeah, yeah. But good for them. Good for them. And then the future of VIX. I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um. Seems like a trend of idols leaving their companies for their solo activities. I mean, I know. SM, Taemin, and Onyu left. I know. And then recently, Super Junior, like Eunhyuk and Donghae also left. And ugh, wild. I know. There's a lot going on in K-pop. Yeah. And then Espa drama. I remember there's some kind of Espa drama. Jihyo from Twice is dating a guy. I saw people saying like Juhan is probably the one that introduced them together. We don't know. We don't know. But people are just assuming maybe he introduced them. But we don't know. It could be any any person. I just find that interesting. Why is everyone like assuming it's definitely Juhan? We don't know. Okay. So 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 yeah. So it's just just find that interesting. So I saw that um was in the in the news um um that's all I can remember. Yeah um. You have bubble for all the one pack members. That's cool. And if they do a bubble live, it's only available for 24 hours. That's exactly right. And you can only re replay it three times. I did not know that. I did not know there was a limit on how many times you could replay it. That's crazy. What? I I could have sworn I saw a bubble live more than three times, though. I mean, when I press replay. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I could have sworn I did. Let me try it next time. The next time I am does a bubble live, 
I need to test it. I, I, I thought it could be more, but, but definitely, yeah, only within 24 hours. And, and you go, I hope people upload, um, one packed, um, on YouTube. Cause the thing is for, um, for Sean, who since I'm not subscribed to him, I find his bubble lives on YouTube. Um, but they're uploaded by Korean fans. So if you want me to search for you, let me know. Let me know. I think I could probably help you find it. Lulu says, Sean, who is surprisingly active on bubble. Yeah. <laughs> In, in in my opinion, I don't find like you know I, I only know based on what's posted on Twitter. I don't find it super active in, in my opinion, but but yeah, in my opinion, in my opinion. Okay, anyways, um, when Starship YouTube got hacked, I know he's hilarious. I saw that um on YouTube, like him laughing about it. I'm like, Sean, you do. I wonder if his humor is like me because I also laughed about it. Um, knowing that Starship got hacked on YouTube, and, you know, I still they are. I still. <sighs> Who the heck made a mistake? Okay, I really don't think like, you know, what's the word? I don't think of Starship as the victim. I think of like someone there made a mistake that got them hacked. You guys get me? I really feel like something like that happened. So I'm just like, <laughs> you know, you guys better be more careful next time. And so I'm just like, you know, they're just, they're a mess. Yeah. Um. But yeah, but yeah, Sean, you laughing about it. I'm like, you know, it just makes me wonder what does he feel about Starship, you know, that he would laugh about that, you know, but then, but then he stopped him. He's like, oh, sorry, like, that's not something to laugh about. And so then he went back to like being serious about it. But I still find that funny that he laughed about it to begin with. So makes me wonder. Um um, uh, Minhyuk's bubble might be a waste of money as he isn't as active. I know Lou. I know Lou. So he he only was able to do bubble for two months before um he had to enlist. But I still don't regret it because he he, you know, getting his last messages on there before he enlisted. Um, I really wanted to um to hear that from him. So hmm. I uh, will see. We'll see. So I really don't want to lose my days that I have with Minhyuk, though. So that's that's the main thing I want to make sure I keep, um, and if I have to, um, subscribe to him at that time, so be it, but, but keep in mind, if they don't use bubble for a month, you know, for a full month, you get a refund on it. So, so I think it's not really a lot to lose in the end. Like if they do at least once a month, but I think once a month is, is too little, but, but hopefully they do more than once a month, but yeah, but yeah, but keep that in mind, guys, if you, if you, if you're subscribed to someone who hasn't updated in a long time, you can get a refund on it. So just make sure about that. Um, <clears throat> Unico says it's a Russian story. So of course there is soap opera drama about what about what um a late oh, oh about about great comment is that what you mean um he so okay so he is a ladies man who's married oh. oh so sad i really don't like his character okay okay oh okay um leo slash on you playing a bad guy is okay 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 i guess so i guess so I guess so. It's something new. It's something fresh for them to do to be a bad guy. I guess. I guess. But, you know, Anna told that person, if I ever meet him in real life, I would kick him to the curb. Okay, so, so it's, it's just hard, hard for me to, to think like this guy I hate so much, but being played by K-pop singers that I like. So <laughs> but it's just a story. It's just a story. And I'll just enjoy it as a story and their acting performances. It's okay. Okay. Um, um, yeah, hope they enjoy themselves being not perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, some something new. Yeah. Um, episode four of, of Che Log was posted an hour ago. Yes, yes, yes. I talked to I, I saw the notification. I told you guys go ahead and watch it. <laughs> if if you yeah, you don't need to watch me. You could go watch Hyung One, it's totally fine. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, but I'll go see Hyung One's um video later. Um Kiyazanaka says, I don't think it was someone at Starship's fault. Okay, okay, okay. Other idols accounts have been taken over by him too. Okay, okay. That's good to know. It's not only Starship that had this happen to them. So other K-pop channels had this happen to them. Why only K-pop channels? So that still makes me very, very curious then. But I still think something happen where it's someone's mistake I, I i still have that feeling because i think i saw somewhere where like um 
um, if you accidentally gave someone permission to do something to your account and so given is like from elon musk or something because that's basically what the hack was about is about his space something elon musk something so i think they possibly agreed to something like oh yeah that's fine elon musk can do whatever blah blah. so they probably accidentally agreed to something and then that's how they got hacked that that, does i remember reading something briefly about something like that and you know why the hacking thing was about elon musk kind of thing so i was like hmm yeah so that's a possibility maybe they accidentally like did something thinking it was going to be okay because it's elon musk related and then blah blah blah. so so that's that's my why i feel this opinion um about it like it's i don't know it's just it's mm, and then it happened to most k-pop company channels but then what about anyone else that's not k-pop yeah so so again still makes me kind of suspicious but yeah i still i still don't feel sympathy for starship i still feel like something happened that they accidentally got it happen for them to get hacked that's what i feel like is most likely happening but again i could be wrong of course of course but give yeah that still makes me suspicious i feel like yeah maybe they allowed something to happen thinking it was going to be okay and maybe the other companies probably felt the same way could be could be anyways anyways these are all all guesses but i still i still feel like they made a mistake yeah um um yeah, yeah, yeah. So Unico says she hasn't been watching any like Monster X vlogs and she's waiting to binge them later. You do you. Yeah, no worries. Did they find the hacker? I don't know. I don't know. Did they? I didn't. I didn't see any more news about it. I mean, was it even in the news? I don't know. But but I remember um, it took them a day for Starship to get back their YouTube channel. And so I wonder why did that take so long as well? So I was like, hmm, interesting, because I remember um, the next day when I woke up, I, I checked to see if the YouTube channel's back on, but it still wasn't. And I was just like, hmm, wonder what could be going on. So I, I just remember thinking that. But but within the next day, I remember they eventually got their um, YouTube channel back. And so I just wondered, I wonder what happened. Yeah. But yeah, but I still think, I still think, um, yeah, someone made a mistake. I still, I still believe that. Um, <clears throat> Lulu says, I have beef. What? What? You have beef with well aged forcing Che levels lovers like you to buy the same items for the. I mean, I swear you guys have like thousands of well aged at this rate. I know. And then what about Javenchi girlfriend? And um what what else? But I mean, I mean, I speak for myself because of Gion, I have so much Akko clothes. Like I'm eventually i hope once i wear out these clothes i can finally have a new wardrobe i'm kind of like sick of seeing so much Akko in my wardrobe i'm like i need to wait until um i wear them out so i i i feel you i feel you like you know when you have too much stuff um uh and you have too much of that product i know i know she says i wish they were like javenchi being able to buy anything oh my gosh that's right that's right at least javenchi they allow you to buy anything yeah yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Was the hacker an Elon fanboy? It was an Elon fanboy? Oh, is that real? Really? And hmm. so if they did catch the hacker and maybe he only wanted to target K-pop companies, but why? Uh, still, it still makes me curious. Um, Lewis is most likely an Elon fan or anti-taking over his channel by hacking other channels. Yeah, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Right, right, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, Gianzarka says so. So yeah, she, so she looked up what she found earlier. There's an article on Korea Boot about Blitzers. She's not sure how accurate it is though. Oh, I, what's what? Okay, so first off, I don't even know who's Blitzers. What what is that? Um, Lulu says Starship channels are collateral damage. Funny that I channel wasn't touched. Oh my! Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I thought I remember that I channel as well got hacked. I thought. I thought I remember seeing that, but I, I I don't know for sure anymore. But but I've channel legit did not get hacked, really. <sighs> That's very interesting. Okay. Um, Unica says I couldn't buy Akko clothes because Korea doesn't make clothes in your size. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um Akko clothes only had two sizes, size one and size two. But they were not like big differences. I have some clothes, like I wanted to try both size one and size two. I was like, oh, not that much different. Yeah, yeah. So so it's like kind of like a one size, honestly. So I I see. But anyways, yeah. 
You don't need Akko clothes. I'm sick of my Akko clothes already. You're fine. You're fine. Um, okay, okay. So Gianzarka says, I've channel also got hacked. Okay, okay. But Cosmic Girls didn't? That's still, that's still weird. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. That's really, really weird. Um... That's really, 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 really weird. So I don't know how it works with YouTube channels because I know you can have one main account and then sub channels in there. So I wonder if that's how Starship is. But again, I don't know how exactly they're doing it because for sure, Wano's YouTube channel is separated from Starship. That's that's a thousand percent true. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. So, so... They did something. This is this is even more 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 of me thinking. Yeah, Starsha must have done something. Okay, so so not that they they not that they intentionally want to get hacked. Of course not. But I think something happened where they allow something to happen, thinking it was going to be okay, and it only affected some of their channels, but not everything. And who knows why? Yeah. So so yeah. Anyways, I still feel like I still feel like they did something to result in this, but I don't think. That's weird if it will be on purpose, but I feel like they just made a mistake of some sort. Yeah. Um, Aiden sizing is bad for anyone with a chest bigger than an A cup. Sadly, sadly, yes, yeah, sadly. I mean, I'm not skinny, by the way, guys. I don't know. I mean, I mean, when you see me in person, I mean, surely you guys won't say I'm skinny, but but I I fit an okay Asian size for now. But but I, I honestly, I really do want to um lose some weight not not because of of you know not because of a was where I really want to lose weight because of my health because um I need to go see the doctor soon and I'm a little bit worried they're probably gonna say like hey you know for for the sake of your health you know anyways anyways everyone just just yeah weight and health is is a very important things and so so anyways it was well yeah but in general I I'm okay finding clothes in Korea for for my my body shape but would yeah, but if you're you're if you were more skinny, you could find more clothes in your size though. But anyways, health is more important. Okay, regardless, as long as you're healthy, whatever weight you are, it's okay. All right, but yeah, but for me personally, I need to lose some weight for the sake of my health. And so, anyways, 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 Ivan Cravity got hacked. Okay, so then yeah, that's funny. How did Cosmic Girls not get hacked? Maybe an elaborate way to promote them since Starship doesn't. <laughs> I literally, that's a great guess. That's a great guess. I don't, I don't know. But no, I really think there must have been a mistake. Must have been a mistake. And honestly, maybe that means that no one is checking Cosmic Girls YouTube channel. So, so someone who's checking the YouTube channels, you know, they did something where it got them hacked, but then no one checked if we're cosmic girls, maybe. So maybe that means, I don't know. I don't know. But that is interesting. So this does makes me think someone made a mistake then. Um, <clears throat> Cravity's most recent video wasn't affected. Oh, what? what how is that okay that's 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 crazy okay so this this whole situation that you guys yeah all these things like some were affected some weren't like how how is that possible so that's really really weird um yeah but it, it was a shame it happened during gra during gravity comeback but but as unico just said their most recent video wasn't affected so was that their comeback video <sighs> interesting Anyways, yeah, I I think someone did something. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's right. One young sister is an actress under King Kong by Starship. That's right. That's right. Um, so it happened before Gravity's music video release. Okay, so that means their music video was fine. If wait, yeah, so that means their music video was fine if it happened after. Okay. Um, uh, an elaborate way of promoting Gravity too. I don't know. Um, so you could still watch their love or die music videos, okay? Oh, or was it right before eyes? I don't know. <laughs> that's 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 yeah, it's don't don't worry, Gans. I don't know anything about what happened. I only know like it affected Monster X channel. Um 
anyways, it's just a big old mess. So in my opinion, I still think someone made a mistake. Um, I think in general, you always need to be careful with anything of technology. Always, always. Um, yeah, hopefully Starship learned their lesson. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so it's 20 minutes until midnight. And I really want to believe I am's album preview will be will be out at midnight. So we're gonna count down until then. So after midnight, we're gonna talk about all about um I am's comeback. Um so I'm just thinking those are other things to catch up on. Um did anything significant happen in K-pop that I missed? I honestly don't think so. The more I think about it, um Hmm. No, I guess not. I mean, yeah, the guys are just doing normal stuff, right? The guys didn't know. I, I, I did feel like there was like less posts on Fan Cafe. I mean, just, just from my memory when I was in Japan. Yeah, I don't think many people post on Fan Cafe. So I thought that was interesting. Like, huh, but, but then again, you know, I couldn't keep up with um a lot of internet and social media stuff. But I did find it just, just very interesting. I did I didn't see a lot of fan cafe notifications. Um, and then of course, of course, Shawnee was just busy preparing for musicals. So I assume that's why um, he was quiet for some time. And then I am as well, most likely just preparing for his comeback. Yeah. And then the guys in the military just, you know, doing military stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Jew Honey's What's in My Bag. Okay, 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 that's right. I wanted to talk about that. So I, I did watch that because I I love watching Jew Hun's videos. Um, so overall his items I thought um I thought were pretty normal. I was like, yeah, I would expect him to have those things. Um, um, but I found it interesting that he said most of his items were gifts from like his friends or or maybe some fans who knows what he said. Oh, most of the items I have here are are like presents that were given to me. And I was just like, mm, interesting. Um, he, there was only one thing that he said that surprised me, but I'm trying to think, was there anything else besides that one? Is there anything else besides that one? Maybe not, maybe not, but yeah, but but one thing that surprised me um from his video is that he has this um this lotion thing and and the company is called Physio Gel. I don't know if uh, if it's popular in you guys' countries, but I was really shocked because I've never ever heard of any of them talk about this lotion company before until now. And so Juhan saying like oh yeah i use this um lotion ever since i was a child and i'm like are you kidding me and then you talk about it now for the first time but then again you know he wasn't you know sponsored by it. he said even during the videos like i'm not sponsored by this company but i just want to like let you guys know like i've been using this lotion ever since i was a teenager and so that's why i carry it with me and so i'm like shut the front door because i use that lotion too and so i was i was so shocked um i was so shocked when when yeah because i never heard of any mx guy talk about that company before but i personally have been using um physio gel facial lotion for like it's been years i use it i've been using it for a really really long time because um i found out um I can't remember when, but I found out that my skin is like pretty sensitive. So I can't use certain lotion and it would like my, my face would break out basically. So I have to use a lotion that's, um, that's good for sensitive skin basically. And so I found this company physio gel and like read, um, their ingredients and like, um, and like, um, they're good for sensitive skin. So I just decided to try them just because, um, their description look good and is good um, for sense of skin. And so after I tried it, my skin has always looked so good. And I was like, this is probably the the type of formula my skin like needs. And so it's, it's so if you guys have sense of skin, like it's not for everyone, of course, you know, each person's skin is different. So, so depending on, on your skin type, like, you know, try out physio gel facial lotion, even Juhan says is good. And so, so yeah, but I attest to it as well. I've been using it for a really, really long time. And my skin um, still really likes it. And so anyways, but I was just really, really surprised that Juhan uses the same facial lotion. And like, he also says like, I've been using it um, for such a long time. And I was just like, that's crazy. So anyways, just wanted to say that, that surprising thing to say, and also to promote physio gel. It really is, it really is good. But again, um, if your skin doesn't like it, it's okay. And so I'm just speaking for myself, like um, for sensitive skin, 
excuse me, um, it's a really nice um, lotion for my face. So that's all I can remember. That surprised me. I'm sure there was more. I'm trying to remember. I'm sure there was more, but I can't remember. It's okay. It's okay. But anyways, I miss him. So I miss Juhan. I miss everyone. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, when I was on vacation, I dreamed about Monster X. Like, like, you know, because I don't usually dream about them. I swear, even though I, I talk about dreaming about them, but but I don't consistently like dream about them often but during my vacation i dreamed about them maybe once or twice a week and that's pretty often compared to like um what what my normal is and so i was like hmm i'm not thinking about them you know while i'm on vacation i'm not thinking about them of course not but then it was it was just so strange that i would dream about them when i'm not thinking about them so i was like hmm maybe it's my self-conscious being like you know you haven't thought about monster x in a while so let me dream about them i don't know my subconscious could be very weird like that but yeah i dreamed about them often and uh, I, but i can't really remember the dream sadly oh wait oh wait i remember i dreamed that i was gonna t that i was talking on a video call with shanu <laughs> yeah so that, that was a funny one i dreamed that i was um on a video call with him and then i accidentally like closed it <laughs> yeah that's all i can remember from and i was like oh my gosh i can't believe i closed it like i just remember something like that and i remember dreaming about gihyun and juhan sadly i don't think i dreamed about wano i can't remember i feel like i did dream about i am but i don't feel too sure about it. but i know for sure i remember seeing um gihyun and juhan and shanu yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, just silly. My silly subconscious is just being silly. Um, yeah, but then now that my vacation is over, now I'm, you know, I got so many MX things to do. The Show News Musical and I Am's comeback. Oh my gosh, you know? So yeah, so it feels kind of weird to, to go back to like normal, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's weird anyways yeah but i'm excited i'm excited like i was kind of looking forward to my vacation being over because there's only there's only so much vacation you can do you know and so after a while i'm just like mm, i kind of want to go back to my normal you know, my normal everyday life and you know not thinking about you know vacation stuff if you guys get what i mean it's it's it's, it's, it's hard to explain but of course i enjoyed my vacation but um but yeah it's just i don't know i don't know i i, I do i do enjoy my working life as well you know so yeah. Anyways, I'll talk about my vacation next time. Um, um, okay, so the hacking was before Ives' Japanese debut. Mm, interesting. Um, oh, I saw, I saw that, Lou. That's right. Gravity won some music show, so it paid off. That's right. I did see that. I mean, I'm still kind of confused how popular Gravity is. Um, I mean, because I remember seeing their album sales numbers and it's not super high. So, um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's still good for them. I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know. I don't know how music shows, um, 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 you know, calculations is anymore, but I mean, you know, as yeah, I mean, you know, good for them. Yeah. Oh, it was their first music bank win. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm still kind of confused about Gravity's popularity, but yeah. A win is a win. It's okay. You guys go. Oh, I was really happy seeing Highlight. So Highlight, um, which used to be Beast, they just came back recently. And I was happy to see them win on Music Bank. I believe it was their first time winning on Music Bank. Like, like of course, they won on Music Bank before as Beast. But I believe this, this was like a really, really, really long time since they won on Music Bank as Highlight. Like, I, I want to believe they did win as Highlight before. But that was like a long time ago. That's the thing. And so anyways, I think it's good to see we're in 2024. Highlight slash Beast has been around since, when did they debut? I think 2010, I think. And so given they're pretty much second gen, they're second gen K-pop group still able to win on Music Bank in 2024. 
I find that very impressive. So I was really happy to see them win. And so I was thinking, do I want to go see a highlight concert? I was thinking, but I'm not sure. Like, I really like Yosop. I think his voice is really good. But the rest of the guys, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I still rather see Infinite instead of Highlight slash Beast. Oh, but I was thinking I would like to see a B2B concert. So I was just um, recently thinking about it. Like I've never seen B2B perform live before. So I was thinking, you know, I should like collect my second gen groups, you know, on my bingo card. You know, it's like, why not? I should like continue seeing these second gen groups before, you know, who knows if maybe they will stop singing at some point we don't know right we don't know and so i was i was thinking i need to like see all the second gen groups while i can and so highlight um b2b who else out there i haven't seen yet that's still active um i'm not interested to see um dongbang shingi um super junior i've already seen in concert i've seen shiny in concert i've seen exo in concert I've seen Vix in concert. Um, hmm. Maybe my bingo card is already like almost done, I guess. I guess. But yeah, I can't remember seeing B slash highlight before. Hmm. Anyways, yeah. So anyways, but yeah, B2B. I believe I've never seen them in concert before. So I'm very, very interested to want to see them hopefully um, in the near future. Would be nice. <clears throat> Oh, Lulu. Okay. Shall we talk about it? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think since it's almost midnight, we could talk about I am back. Hashtag I am back. So Lulu asking me, did you not like I am's concept photos? <sighs> Maybe it was a good thing it happened when I was on vacation. So so I, I wanted to like not be spoiled by me. He freaking posted on his Insta story. So I'm like, it's okay. I can't stay spoiled. I can't stay unspoiled for so long. And so, you know, so I saw all his photos already. So there's something, there's something wrong with me. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's 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 get that out of the way. It's definitely my issue. All of his photos, I'm really not into them. So there's something wrong with me because I do find I am attractive, but he in photos, like it, it's like zero attraction when I see him in photos. And so these photos for his comeback, I don't know. I feel zero like about it. It's like he he, he looks fine. He looks fine, but I feel nothing excited. I don't feel attracted to him when I see these photos. So I'm like, hmm, very interesting. Okay, so I I really am not super excited for this comeback. But 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 let's let's keep in mind I was on vacation for so long, and all these teasers, you know, happened during my vacation. So today, I mean, hopefully in a few minutes from now, uh, we can hear the album preview and, you know, we can talk about it and see how we feel. But as you guys know, I'm not into his music either, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I still want to, I'm still going to go with an open mind, pun intended. I'll go with an open mind about it. But in general, I don't have much expectation for this comeback. Like I have been with past I Am comebacks. I'm kind of whatevs, you know, but oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, guys, he's gonna be performing at a festival in June, June 15 to be exact. <sighs> so, 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 so I have so many feelings about that. Okay, so, so he has a festival, but I do find it interesting how come he's not doing any festivals before June? I mean, maybe he will, maybe he will, but I, I just find this interesting, you know, this is so far into the future compared to the past festivals he did. So anyways, it's June 15, right? And so this this made me think like really, so you're not gonna be enlisting anytime soon. So I, that kind of made me feel, I don't know. I I was really hoping he might be enlisting soon because a lot of other 1996 guys have been enlisting this year. So I don't know. All right. So yeah. So he's gonna be doing a festival on June 15. And so, of course, I'm freaking going. Of course I am, okay? I already bought my ticket once I found out um, he's going. And so I'm like, of course I'm going to go, okay? But, but I mean, it's still feeling kind of weird because I don't know. So all this year, 2024, is it, is it just going to, like, so he has this comeback now and then festivals. But then I, I really thought he might go, like, do overseas concerts, but... 
I don't think he's doing any. So, so it's, it's, it's really, really weird what's going on. And so then, so then now I'm thinking, well, if he's going to enlist maybe next year, so that means he'll do another comeback at the end of this year. Really? So I don't know. I don't know. I'm so indifferent about IM's comeback because he doesn't even go on music shows, you know? So, so it just doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like a lot happens and I don't really feel like a part of it. Like the only things he does is just the fan signs. Right. And so it's like, I'm not going to apply to any of those fan signs. And I don't know. It's just, it's just, it just feels very empty. Yeah. It feels very empty. And I'm like, you know, I am during this time when everyone is in the military, why can't you be in the military too? So I'm still kind of like, you know, but but anyways, yeah, I'll go see him in June. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm partially excited because um he'll be performing um his new songs at this festival. So, so I look forward to hear and see how that is. So that'll be like my my maybe my only time I can see him perform live, right? Um, that's right. Would he do like another soul concert again? I, I don't know. But I don't think I'll get a ticket anyway. So anyway, so anyway, so that's why of course I'm gonna go see him at the festival, which is so easy to get a ticket to. Um. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, yeah. So and so with his music, usually I like his songs more after I see it live. So maybe after the festival, I'll like his music more. Right. But that's not until June. So we'll see about that later. Um, yeah, yeah. And his concept photos. Um, we could talk about it later as we go through the album preview. Hopefully it's going to happen in a few minutes from now. So we'll talk more at that time. Um um oh i lost my spot okay okay unico says i just learned that we have dance practice videos because of shiny's practice videos were leaked years ago i wonder was that really the start of it i can't remember but i was a k-pop fan at that time i wonder was shiny's lucifer really the first one but i'm not sure because i remember um infinite also did um practice videos um yeah, but see, I I just can't remember who was the first one. So I don't know. So you know, I'm honestly not sure. Was Shiny really the first one? I'm honestly not sure. Girls Generation had some too. Didn't Girls Generation debut before Shiny? I can't remember, sadly. And anyways, anyway, so yeah, yeah. But I, I know in general in that time frame, you know, so yeah, that's when dance practice videos started happening in but but in general that's that's when k-pop just started as well like second gen was really like the catapult of like k-pop stuff so yeah so anyways i don't know who is the exact um k-pop group that started it in all honesty i can't remember um gravity step out of monster x shadow yeah yeah that's right that's right which is not bad Gianzonica loves how Honey just kept pulling stuff out of his bag. Dude, that's a huge bag. That's a freaking bag you bring to the airport. But he says he brings this bag everywhere with him. That's bigger than my own bag. But but yeah, it was like Mary Poppins, right? It was like he kept grabbing stuff out of it the whole time. But, but maybe that's his overall travel bag since as a K-pop singer, you go to so many places all the time. Maybe that's his overall travel bag. Then that would make sense. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I thought that was cute. Yeah. Um, and he's so millenni millennial, yeah, yeah, full of tech cables and chargers. That's yes, yes, us millennials, yes, that's so true. Yes, um, it's like Hermione put an extension charm on it. That's so funny. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, it was bittersweet that he wanted to stay as an MC. Of course he did. Yeah, but he had to step down, so he keeps a photo of himself as an MC. Hopefully, he can come back as an MC. I don't know. They always hire younger kids, but or maybe he could do like um a job as an MC later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shiny starting a trend for no reason is so shiny. I mean, that's true too. Shiny has has done things like that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know if you could buy in the USA. Where is, do I have it here? Where is it? Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So yeah, so here is, here's the company. Physio gel. So it looks like this. See, hypoallergenic, that's why, um, um, I decided to try, yeah, hypoallergenic and then um, for dry and sensitive skin, right, right. So, yeah, it just, it, look, it looked like everything that I needed for my skin. And so I'm so glad I decided to try it. And, yeah, so this is what 
the one that I recommend. And so the one that Juhan used, like, you know, that he opened in his bag, he said it was the red one, which is like, um, for redness, but, oh, sorry, I hit the mic, but, but he said he, he uses this one, the facial lotion as well. And I was just like, that's so shocking. And so anyways, anyways, yeah. So if you guys want to try it, yeah, I don't know if you could buy in the USA. I believe this is not Asian. It says here it was made in Thailand. I mean, I mean, made in Thailand, but then, um, exported to Korea, I assume. Yeah, so anyways, I don't know where it's from, but yeah, you guys look it up, all right? And yeah, I, I would recommend it. But of course, um, of course, it depends on your skin, all right? So if it doesn't work for you, it, it doesn't work for you, all right? But yeah, but try it out if you want to see if it works for you. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, where is this brand from? What, 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 what do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it says was made in Thailand, but but I believe that's just because I'm in Korea. It would say that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Look it up. Look it up. Yeah, yeah. Um. Um. Lulu says seems like Juhan. Oh wait, it's already midnight. Did nothing happen? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't have any notification. Hold on. No. Okay, I do, I do, I do, I do. Wait, 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 do I? No, I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, well, first off, first off, why is there an eyeball? What? what? Okay, so anyways, so anyways. So first off, Sony Music copyright is super, super strict, all right? So I have to listen to it on my own, but you guys can't hear it, okay? So you guys can go ahead and watch and listen to it on your own, um... Mute me. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. So do do whatever you want. But yeah, I have to watch and listen to it on my own. So so yeah, I have my AirPods here. So I will do that in a bit. So let me let me finish all these comments first, and then let's talk about I am's album preview and everything. I am uh, hashtag I am back. Um, yeah, he can do that when he returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 he hard carried Hyunwon on Idol Radio too. Oh my gosh, Lulu. Oh my gosh, Lulu. It's so true. <laughs> Given your Hyunwon bias, thank you for acknowledging that Juhan hard carried Hyunwon the whole entire time. I know, I know, but Hyunwon was still, you know, was still an okay MC. But I mean, let's be real. Yeah, yeah. Juhan was like, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My thing is just he's just so natural at it, you know, and Hyunwon is just more reserved. That's all it is. It's okay. Um, the monster sunglasses that his dancers from Light Promotion gifted him. I know it looks really cool. I know that was so cute and so touching. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you have lots to do for your April B Day month? Lulu, that's a good question. I do not have lots to do, but I would like to do a lot. <laughs> so, so basically, I would I would like to plan to do lots of things to do in April because it's my favorite month of the year. Yeah, yeah. So I I hope to do so. Yeah. Um, Unico says, Juhan had like a bottomless bag. I know, it was so fun. The three things he chose at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The toothbrush, the hygiene bag with his lotion. Yeah, yeah. And his wallet, yeah, earbuds. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was also interesting. Highlight won the show. That's good to hear. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's right, Lou. You recently worked ONF show in Toronto. Their fans are young and old. Oh, good to know. They were charging a lot for selfies and photos with the group and single members. Yeah gotta make your money but yeah overcharging is still not fun yeah um Carity won the show with five thousand points in digital which is good oh my which is the max you can get in that category that's very impressive yeah it's very impressive yeah I'm, oh my gosh that's so weird so right now it's 1204 a.m now i get the notification about this album preview well i think this is a twitter problem it has to be wait 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 what 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 time did they post the tweets let me just check that yeah, okay, they posted the tweet at 12.01 a.m. Interesting, but I got the notification at 12.04 a.m. So that's a Twitter problem. Yes, yes, yes. So anyways, anyways, we'll, we'll talk about that in one second. Um, but yeah, I still am not sure how popular Gravity is. It's still, I don't know, still confusing to me. Um, um, Lulu says, I would love to watch B2B after Chang Sub recovers. I know, I heard he got sick, I know, from his throat infection. I would love to watch Chang Sub in a musical. Chang Sub is hilarious, number one, but he's an amazing singer. Yeah, yeah. But you know, not only him, Eun Guang is the same thing. Hilarious and amazing singer. Um, um, I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting his name. What's his name? The same birthday as Lulu. What's his name? Oh my gosh. 
I'm so, I I don't know why I can't remember his name. Hyunsik, Hyunsik, right? Right? Hyunsik. Okay, okay, but yeah, yeah, he's also a really great singer. I don't know how hilarious he is, but he's he's a great singer. But yeah, but I I would love to go see B2B because not only is it like beautiful to listen to, but they're also so hilarious, you know? So I feel like it's like a double whammy um seeing them in concerts just entertaining and beautiful singing, you know? And so I still can't believe I've never been to a B2B concert before. Shame on me. Okay. But, <laughs> but you know, I, of course my priority is only MX and Wano, but now that I have free time, you know, I will love to see all the second gen for my bingo card. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, but Chang's up in the musical too. I ra I still rather see them in concert than a musical for now, for now, but we'll see. Um, um, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, so Unico saw a B2B music for the first time because of on build up. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. High prices for selfies and photos are because of whatever company is handling the tour. That's a good point. That's a good point. They want to make the money. Yeah, yeah. Um Jennifer, I'm shocked you're still here. Okay, so Jennifer says, um, um, to me, um, B2B announced FanCon in Japan. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, because I was just in Japan, but but for J Jennifer to see them in Japan would be great. It's too soon. Oh my gosh. May 12 in Tokyo. You will fly back to Sapporo, and only four of the members will be there. Uh, wait, is it because Chang Sub is still recovering? Is that why? Um, so you will give it up this time. Uh, Okay, okay. And let's go another concert in Korea one day. Jennifer, what? Okay, okay, okay. One second, one second. Oh, May 12 in Tokyo. Because I remember you're going back to Sapporo in April, right? So that's why it's too soon. <sighs> okay, but also only four members will be there. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, if... if that's right. Let's 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 see B two B when is when they're all there. You know that's best, of course. Okay, so you're gonna give it up. It's okay. And hopefully, Jennifer, let's go to a B two B concert in Korea together. Yes, it's because Jennifer is a big B two B fan as well. So yes, Jennifer. Okay, let's see it together in Korea. All right, and hopefully all of them will be there. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Um, Lulu says I agree. I am should be appreciated live and sure. <laughs> Okay, well, first off, June 15th. It's like it's like starting to get hot, but not super hot. So <laughs> I mean, he might take off his shirt, in all honesty. He might. He might. Um, FYI, this um the venue for this festival, June 15th, is the same place where he took off his shirt. So so I mean, but but again, June 15th is not super hot. That's that it, it would be hilarious if he takes off his shirt again. In my in for, for, for my point of view, I, I would find that hilarious. So, okay, one second, girlfriend. And so and then Lulu says, not clothed and being the shy guy in stylish clothing. Oh okay, 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 okay. Let's talk about that in one second. Okay, and then um Key just recently revealed that on a K variety show. Oh well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Talking about what? Huh? Oh, okay, okay. So this is the link you sent me. Excuse me. Seven minutes and four seconds. What is he talking about? Okay, okay, let's 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 talk. Okay, okay, well, give me a summary here first. Um, um, Lulu says Japan is benefiting from the shortage of concert venues in Korea because there are so many K-pop shows in Japan now. Good to know. Good to know. honestly, I was just I was just thinking the next time I go to Japan, even though I just came back from Japan, I mean it's so easy to fly to Japan from Korea. Jennifer, you know this too, right? It's so easy flying there from J from Korea. And so I'm honestly thinking, I mean, maybe I'll just hop over there for like a concert. I mean, just for fun. I mean, you know, so, but it depends on who it is. Like, like I'll definitely go for MX and Wano, but, but, but someone else who's not MX or Wano, I'm not, I'm not sure. But, but I am thinking about it, Jennifer. I am thinking about if ever we can see a concert together in, in Japan, we'll see, we'll see Jennifer. And so, yeah, I, I, I did, I was thinking about that um, for some times, like hmm, maybe the next time I go would be for a concert. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah, as Lulu just said, there's more of them performing in Japan now. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, 
Lou says that is a duffel bag in North America or a mini hockey bag. That's what I'm saying, girlfriend. Got that right. And he carries that everywhere with him. Hilarious. Hyunshik, I know. I his, his name. I don't know why it's, it's hard for me to remember his name. There's something wrong with him. But yes, thank you, Lulu. Hyunshik, Hyunshik. Yeah. And he just had a solo comeback. I remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah. Peniel, that's right, right. So you listen to P Peniel on his great, on his Get Real podcast with BM. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And you forgot their names. No worries. Um, a Melody showed Chang uh, a photo card of him in a black suit in the front and then holding his booty on the back. I did see that on Twitter as well. I thought that was hilarious. Um, so hilarious and so Chang up. I agree. I agree. They're, they are forever so funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Peniel is still recovering from his medical ailments, I believe. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Okay. Um, about the origin of dance practice videos in K. But ah, 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 so so then so then Key said that that Shiny is the first one. Really? Really? I wonder, really? I wonder. Cause I remember seeing a lot of K-pop groups at that time. Um, okay, 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 okay. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, but yeah, I'll watch that later. Thanks. Thank you for the link. Um Wano in Japan, you're there, Lulu, Lulu. Okay, Wano in Japan, and if you, if if we should all meet in Japan for Wano, why not? Why not? But but the thing is, of course, of course, it's easiest for me to see him in Korea. So so I don't know, I don't. But it depends. It depends on how I feel. It depends on how I feel. Maybe maybe yeah. But I feel like Monster X. My luck these days with Monster X, I feel like I'm never gonna see them in Korea at this point. You know, so so I'm I'm also thinking as well, like maybe I have a better chance to see them in Japan. I don't know. I don't know, right? And so who knows? Who knows? We'll see. So here's the thing. Can I go to the bathroom first? I'm so sorry. So I need to go to the bathroom first. And so I, I want I want some kind of something for you guys to listen to. Okay, let me, let me, what do I have here? Um, um I mean, what can I play that's not gonna get me copyrighted? That's the thing. Um, 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 if, if I just play Hyungwon's video, like audio only, surely it'll be okay, right? 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 Okay, okay. Just listen to Hyungwon talk. Okay, I'll be right back. Hello, hello. Okay, thank you for thank you, Hyungwon, for uh covering for me. Okay, so so we gotta go talk about I am comeback. Okay, so one second. Okay, okay, because I, I really should go to sleep soon. The more I think about it, like I'm feeling myself like getting tired. Okay, so so let's go to the album preview now. Where is it? Where is it okay first off it's four minutes long okay good to know okay okay four minutes long so if i remember correct wait wait oh it says here yeah 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 if, uh, and i remember correctly it's six songs six songs in this mini album so it it it's lure busted 
XO, but then it says here X zero. Like, like, you know, you, you can clearly see if the, if it's an O or a zero, but that that's like X zero. I thought it was XO because based on, based on how it looked like at first. So anyways, okay. And then skyline and then MMI and then nobody, but with the, with the vowels taken out. So I, I need to listen to this on my own one second and let's talk about it like one song at a time. Okay. Let's, let's do that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I find it interesting. They have it like vertical like this. Oh. interesting that was interesting okay so so i only heard the first song lure which i think is his title track right isn't it isn't it i can't remember if they said for sure it was the title track but i feel i feel correct me if i'm wrong okay so anyways oh that was that was kind of interesting okay okay so so first off i was um taken aback at first that he's actually rapping but let, let me hear that one more time so it's 45 seconds of lure so one second So first off, it's still a jazzy feeling. Like I don't know why he's so into jazz, but it's just it's just him. He's he 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 likes it. So I just accept that about him. So anyway, so it's like jazzy, right? Yeah, he's rapping. Okay, okay. So I'm 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 a little bit surprised about that because in his previous solo albums. He's rarely rapping. Like, like I, I hope you guys agree with me, but he rarely raps. So, so this is already surprising to me that he's actually rapping. So, so I, I mean, I, I can imagine why he doesn't want to rap so much in his, um, in his solo albums because he's usually rapping in Monster X albums. So I understand, you know, I understand. But I personally really like to hear him rap more than singing. So, so that's why I think I usually don't like his solo songs, but shocking shocking he has some rap in there but 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 most of the time he's not rapping though so i think it's just a snippet and the uh, the the next part of the song of lure he's like doing like some his singing stuff let, let me hear that one more time but yeah but i just wanted to make sure like was he rapping but no yeah he's for real rapping okay so one second one second so let me hear it again Yeah, now he's singing. <sighs> so, so I, I I feel like this song has potential. So this this is very exciting for for you know for me being the black sheep of not of not liking his solo songs. So this has potential, but because it's so jazzy, it makes it lose potential at the same time. So 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 I really think um if it was less jazzy, I would really like this song. I have that feeling. But but because based on this preview, it's so jazzy, I'm like, dang it. Uh, so close, get so far away, you know? So, yeah, but I know he likes jazz. So that's why he put that in there. But for this as a title song, I think it's, I think it would be okay, but it's, it's my personal taste. I really don't like how jazzy it is, but 
But let's wait until we hear the full song and then I'll get my final judgment at that time. But yeah, lure potential, but not really at the same time. So that's my opinion for now. So let's go to the second song. The imagery, what they're, yeah, that's interesting. Busted. So the second song we just heard, I mean, I yeah, just, just hopefully you guys are listening at the same time as me. So that was Busted. Um, that song reminds me of another artist that does songs like this, but I can't remember what that artist's name is. But this type of song slash music reminds me of another artist that I heard before. Um, I mean, honestly, it's not bad. I mean, that's really saying a lot, okay? That's really saying a lot from me. It's not bad. Um, um, it's not bad, but I, I'm kind of confused. Where is he going with this album? So so it's it's so far quite different from his previous albums, which is is a good thing. I, I think it's a good thing, but but I'm I'm a little bit confused um about it. But so far, I, I kind of like it better than the Overdrive album. So far, so far. But but it's, it's, it's too early to tell. But just so far, so far, like, it's, it's going okay, at least. But I'm still not super into it. You guys get me? So so one, one second. So let's, let's keep going. Okay, so let's hear the next song. Mm, okay, okay. So that's third song is called X Zero, I think. Um, um, so I like mellow songs. I I do you I usually like them, but this kind of mellow song, I'm feeling kind of iffy about it. I don't know. So like the, the way that he made this song. So like I usually like mellow songs, but this this the style he's making for this song, I'm not a fan of it. But then again, I only heard a few seconds of it, you know, so so I'll, I'll final judgment, of course, once the album comes out. But but yeah, I'm not I'm not super feeling this song. But yeah, we'll we'll wait until the full song comes out. OK, the next song. Skyline. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So, so, okay, we're kind of going downhill, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, so I just heard, um, Skyline. Um, I, I usually can't, um, make out lyrics in you know, English or Korean. I usually can't make it out when they're singing it, but he was saying some, some of the lyrics very clearly. And I'm just like, so this is like another like sexy song, basically. <sighs> but I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I am is doing or thinking. Just, just you do you. Okay. But I don't know why he, I don't know. Okay. But, but yeah, it's like another, like, kind of like a, you know, you know, that kind of song. Um, um, 
Yeah, the only thing I could say is that the style of this song that he makes it as, I'm just not a fan of that style. Yeah. And yeah, and uh, I have to wait until the full song, but but for now, it's like, you know, I'm not, uh, I, I, I'm not, uh, okay, let's move on. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Um, the next one is MMI. That's interesting. Um, um, so MMI, um, so I, I also could understand a little bit of the lyrics he's saying. I think it's just another like, it's another type of those songs that that, that he usually does. So I was just kind of like, uh, is he really still talking about those things? But but the thing is, <laughs> the thing is not not thinking about the lyrics, but like um, this style of the way that he makes this song. That's that's more my style. So this this is finally like we're going up a, a little again is like that's more like my preference of what i like to hear in a song let me hear that one more time to make sure i'm not losing my mind so one one second uh like maybe i don't know, like again because uh, just let me make sure about about it one second I just realized, I mean, he's not full on rapping, but it's it's a little more rapping in this song, at least compared to the, at least compared to his regular singing voice, I guess. I, I just noticed that just now. It's kind of a little bit more rapping. That might be why I like it more. That's probably why. And But 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 overall, still the beat of this song and that just, just this is definitely more my style, but I really do prefer him rapping more. Yeah, yeah, hearing it the second time, yeah. I, I find I find this to have some more potential than the others. Yeah. 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 I I mean, I, I I still need to suspend judgment, but but at least based on this preview, I I hopefully will will like I don't I don't su I'm not super air about it, you know? Like I I feel like yeah, this it could be okay. Okay, now the final song, nobody. Hmm. Uh, I uh, okay. Okay. So 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 the three songs, these these three these three songs sound kind of similar in terms of style. I guess let me put it that way. So it's the um, EXO song. One second. X zero skyline, skyline and nobody. So X zero skyline nobody. Do you guys get my 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 um my perception of like that style of song? So these three are quite similar. So these three, I'm really not feeling it. But nobody, 
has some potential. I don't know why, but I think the beat of the song I I I'm okay with. Um, but I still don't like that style that he does. But it's okay. It's his style. It's okay, you know. So I just I just accept that's his style. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the other three three songs though, that's not this style. I I I find um potential. Excuse me, <laughs> excuse me. I find potential with them. So, huh? So we'll see. Um, I don't know. But the thing is, oh, I, I should take off my my earpods. But the thing is, like, I I'm kind of, I'm I'm still kind of like it's, it's it's a little bit interesting to me. That it's not it's not um, it's not really how overdrive was which which is good of course but but like i was expecting you know him to still be that way i mean even with the duality album and then to overdrive you know you could still feel feel this kind of like this kind of style of i am basically but then this album maybe literally off the beats which is what the album title is called like it's literally maybe wanting to be a little bit um different from the other albums so that's how i'm feeling with this album it does feel quite different compared to the other ones i mean he's freaking rapping more so that that's still very um surprising to me but i'm i'm really looking forward to hear more rapping in his songs now um but yeah, but the three songs that I'm not a fan of, they're they're more mellow. So I, I do find it interesting. Why is he having more mellow songs in here now? It's very interesting. For now, I'm intrigued. And I do have some anticipation. Like, I don't usually anticipate his music. You guys know me by now. I'm just not, you know, I just always have that anticipation. It's like, it's most likely not going to be my cup of tea, you know? But this album for the first time like there's some potential but i still want to keep my expectations low so so yeah it's 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 just fascinating for now very very fascinating okay and i'm i'm so curious what you guys have to say so let's get through this as quickly as possible um um Lulu says best not to do it. We can listen on our own. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm not gonna, yeah, I can't play, um, I can't play the song on my lap because they they have caught me um before like muting me, muting my video and stuff. And so yeah, yeah, I just listen on my own. And yeah, hopefully you guys like understand what, what I'm saying and stuff. Um, um yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So so Jennifer says, I'm so glad the pandemic strip rules ended in Japan. That's true, that's true. Um, um, so that's how like more K-pop concerts can happen now. Um so yeah, Jennifer was staying in Yokohama for about six months. You were you were staying there for six months. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was that long. And she says, I can join many K-pop concerts in Tokyo Air. It's like every weekend. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, right? Right, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, she's so lucky. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, every weekend. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yuniko says, I recently watched B2B Live to celebrate their debut anniversary. Oh, yeah, they had the online stream. That's right. But I really want to see them um in person. So I'm gonna wait until I can. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna wait until I can finally do that. Um, they mentioned that they were really lucky to find the venue for their first fan concert, but it wasn't huge, so that's why. Mm. Oh, and they got they scheduled three nights since it was a small venue. Still, still, um, still okay. They did their best. Yeah, yeah. And so who knows? Maybe I can't get a B2B concert ticket, but I'll still try and see, of course. Um, I am new songs. You really like the title track, Lur. So it is the title track, Lur. Okay, okay. So you really like it. Favorite B side is S is X O. Okay, okay. Um, Gion's undercut says, oh, she she thinks Lur sounds really good. Interesting. But yeah, you guys are into the jazz, right? Okay, okay. Well, that makes sense. It's okay. Um, yeah, Lulu loves the jazz of Lur. Okay, okay. Man, I wish I was a fan of jazz. There's something wrong with me. I really don't like jazz. It's okay. That's okay. So yeah, hopefully I'll get used to it. Yeah. Um, um, I am can't go wrong with I with Gion's undercut um whenever he has a jazzy vibe in it. Yeah, I, I, I totally see that. Yeah. Uh, Lulu says this album is for I am slash international fans and not really meant for Korean general public ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, MMI sounds like Howlin'. Oh, oh, does it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me re-listen to that later. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. I'm not a huge, a huge fan of Howlin', but I could, I could 
what's the word? I'm okay with it when I watch it live, but I, I'm not a fan to listen to it on my own. So maybe, maybe MMI would be that way for me. Maybe. Um, uh, Jennifer says, yes, I have, you have the same opinion. Oh, 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 like, like with me. Oh, she says, I couldn't tell the difference of the last three songs. Mm, okay. But it's so hard to compose new songs. Totally sounds different. Oh, totally, totally. And that is one of the limit of every art. So of course, of course, of course, it's not, not a big deal at all. I don't, I don't consider that like, like a weak point about I am, I mean, he just makes songs that he likes and that's perfectly fine. And whether, um, he wants them to sound similar or not, that's his thing. And yeah, it's not, not something I ever uh, put against um, um, a singer when they're making music, but yeah, it's just all to his preference. And if it's not to my preference, it doesn't matter, you know? And so, yeah, I, I'm still going to be his fan, even if I don't like his music. I mean, even with any, any MX member Wano, I'm still going to be their fan no matter what. So it's, it's all good. And just, yeah, but definitely um, um, my personal taste in music is, is, not very common the more I think about it. like I don't know why I don't like jazz who knows why and so yeah yeah interesting um Lula says I am style seems very mellow free-flowing and low-key this is his most mellow album right yeah I was just thinking that yeah his most mellow album of his three so far is like one of those blue letter to his other albums unlike the rest that's a good point exactly that's a good point yeah like the the album title literally is off the beats like maybe he wanted something that's really off the beats right so maybe this is going um with his title which you know i'm all for um going with the title of your album so yeah you know so yeah so when it was first announced that his album was called off the beats i was thinking that's a weird title <laughs> am i the only one that thought that way so i was thinking that's a weird weird what did i just say weird title to have off the beats and I was like, hmm, okay. But then now hearing what songs he put in here, now I'm kind of thinking, oh, they kind of relate to Off the Beats, actually. So so I do find that more interesting now. Um, the title of the songs are weird. I don't know what MMI and XO like and Skyline, like they're super random um titles, but but yeah, but once I'm able to read the lyrics, then I'll see if I can understand why he titles them that way. Um, what else to say? Yeah, I'm really not into his concept photos. I mean, maybe one or two was okay, but, um, yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, I really have nothing to say about his concept photos. None of them, um, really, like, impress me, and, like, none of them really, like, stand out to me. I mean, I do think in some of his photos, he looks super angry, so, <laughs> so, I mean, his default face is is like a resting BZ face, you know? So that's his default face. And I'm very okay seeing him in his default face. But a lot of his photos, he honestly looks more angry. And so I, so I just wonder if that's on purpose or not. But like, he really looks angry. And so I'm just like, hmm, interesting. And so 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 I, I don't know if that's supposed to go with the concept or not. And so I'm just like, hmm, okay. And so, yeah, so I'm really like photos of him. I'm really, I don't know. And like, I'm really not into his hair. And like, I don't know what he's doing with his hair these days. And so, so anyways, whatever. Um, I, I don't, I'm not fully attracted to I am like I am with Gion, as you guys know. And so like, it's, it's, I think like, um, because I'm also not in love with I am as well, like he can like, I don't know, like do some things and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm really not into you, you know, but with Gion, like he could, do, he could do anything except pink hair, but I'm still in love with him. That's the thing. So like he could still do things like that and I'll still be in love with him. But then with I am, I'm just like, uh, I'm, just like I'm really, uh, anyways, but, but, but shockingly when I see I am in person, I think it's different. So, so I um, don't like, it's really. I'm really weird, guys. And so anyways, yeah, I'm really, really not into his concept photos. Um, yeah, so then the next things we'll see, I think it's just going to be the music video preview. Is that the next thing? Where's his schedule? I have a feeling I did not save it. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Where is it? Where's the schedule? Where is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So music video teaser on April 1st. Oh, we'll start April with his music video teaser. Sure, I mean, I can't watch it with you guys, but we can at least talk about it. Um, and then the album artwork on April 2nd. Huh. Wait, I just realized it's a pretty long break until the music video teaser. Oh. And then it's one day after another. So album art artwork and then April 3rd 
um, when the album drops. By the way, I think it's cool that he decides to drop an album in April, my favorite month of the year. How fitting. So yeah, but also I'm really glad that is after my vacation. So that was all that mattered to me. But I I was like, man, there's no way yeah, I could I could talk about it with you guys until today. Yeah. And so until today. So yeah, I'm just catching up now and all my opinions like no surprise my opinion is this way but 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 yeah yeah i i let's wait until the album drops and then full full judgment at that time i wonder how the music video will be for lure and like how how hmm, yeah we wait and see wait and see all right so i'll see you guys next time um 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 uh okay 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 so lula says mm i didn't realize that lulu thank you for telling me mmi me myself and i of course he would title a song that way his freaking stage name is i am of course he would he's hilarious thank you lulu Thank you, Lou, for telling me that. Oh, my gosh. He's hilarious. Of course he would title a song like that. Me, myself, and I. I'm sh I'm surprised he didn't name a song I Am, okay? <laughs> and, oh, wait. I has a song called I Am. Yeah, I still I still can't believe they have a song called I Am. And so, anyways, yeah, it, maybe is this his 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 um clapback song? <laughs> I mean, I still can't believe I've from starship decides to make a song called i am anyways anyways so lou so yeah M M I, me myself and i okay yeah i i look forward to read the lyrics um once the album comes out um lulu says seems like the i am lovers love his 70s rock star hair it suits him <laughs> i i'm i'm different i'm i really am not into it but but if the i am lovers like it if i am like so that's all that matters I'm really not into it. Yeah, I'm just, it's, ugh, okay. <laughs> um, and Gia's on our guest okay, bye everyone. Take care, you too. You too, you too. Good, okay. Yeah, so this was a lie for three and a half hours. That flew. Where did the time go? That just flew by, but I'm happy to have been able to catch up. Finally open my Infinite Seasons greetings. Other unboxing, I don't know. I don't know. Eventually, eventually, hopefully soon. Um, yeah, but I'll definitely see you guys on March 30th for Great Comet Day. I mean, you know, Shawnee won't be there, but still be excited for me. You know, first Great Comet, um, excuse me, Great Comet, like, show for me. I'm not breathing. I'm so sorry. I need to practice. Uh, not practice. <laughs> How can I practice breathing? No, I mean, when I'm tired, I think I'm not focusing on breathing. <laughs> okay, okay, anyways. <sighs> okay, so anyways. Anyways, everyone have a good day. Good night. Long time no see. And from now on, I'll surely see you guys way often. All right. So see. And definitely for April. I mean, come on. Okay. April. I'll definitely see you guys more often. Um, um, so as always, be safe, be careful. Good day. Good night. Don't worry, be happy, stay happy. Take care. Take care of everything around you. Is that it? I probably say more than that. Don't worry, be wait. Don't worry, be happy, stay happy. See, I'm losing my mind because I'm tired. Okay, so anyways, anyways, as always, just take care, take care. Yeah, and you know, I'm very, very thankful for my month-long vacation, traveling, you know, flying, all the transportation. I came back safely. That's number one. And as you guys can see, I'm not sick. Okay, thankfully, I'm not sick. I try to wear a mask all the time, you know, and, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, I, I'm, Okay, as far as I can see, I'm okay. So yeah, and like didn't catch the cold from anyone. Thank goodness, all good. And and also my brother, when he left, he didn't seem sick at all either. So we're all good. So that's number one. I was you know not sick at all. Transportation was all okay. I mean, planes. Did you guys see in the news what's going on these days? So anyways, be careful, everyone. Just be careful. Like like what's what's going on out there. And so yeah, safety is number one. All right, everyone, stay safe and health as well. Everyone, stay healthy. Um, could have sworn there was something. Oh my gosh, guys! Remember that scammer? Oh my gosh, I I wanted to update about it here, and I totally forgot about it. But remember, right before I went to Japan, I was dealing with a scammer. Oh my, oh my gosh! Yeah, we gotta talk about that later. 
I want to, I wanted to talk about it here and I totally forgot. Yeah, I'll talk about that. But thankfully I did get my money back, but, but that it was still, oh my gosh. Anyways, stories next time, stories next time. But yeah, don't, don't worry. I did get my money back, but I mean, still, still. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk more next time. Okay. Okay. I should, I should let me, okay. See you guys next time. Um, Lulu says good night, YouTube. Bye. Good night. Good day. And everything. We'll look out for your live tweets at Leon. <laughs> Leon. Is that his nickname? I like, like, so there's Sean, Sean Atoll and Leo, Leon Atoll, right? Okay. I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Look out for me on March 30th. I think the show starts at 6 30 but i'll be there starting at maybe 4 30 i don't know because traffic on saturdays like is always busy on the weekend so i might i'll try no no i should i should be there by five is fine i could be there by 5 p.m yeah, yeah. okay well, anyway so around that time korea time yeah um hopefully we can discuss your thoughts on the show hopefully hopefully and like right like when i come back home maybe i'll do a live at that time i think i think i can do that yeah anyway it's technically tomorrow, March 30th is, you know, right now is March 29th after, yeah, tomorrow. I'm going to go see the Great Comet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the heck? Okay, anyways. Yeah, yeah. For Leo Natal. Yeah, Leo Natal. Okay, see you guys later. Um, Unico says, what news are you referring to? Oh, oh, I mean, I mean, like, there's so many news in the USA, at least, about planes. I mean, United Airlines. Just look up United Airlines. If you guys don't know that news, just look them up, United Airlines. And then very, and then um, the bridge, the bridge in, in Baltimore. So, so everyone just be safe. Okay. It's, it's, I don't know what's going on these days. So just be, be, be careful and be safe, everyone. Yeah. So that's, that's all I'm, I'm, I'm referring to. It's just like, ugh, just, just too, there's too many weird things going on. So yeah, just be safe out there. Um, great comment with Leo as Anatole. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I, I think Lulu, okay, I don't, I don't, okay, I, I'm not sure if I answered correctly. And so, so anyways, anyways, tomorrow, tomorrow, or maybe, am I doing anything later today? March 29th, I mean, I might. So if I'm doing something that I want to show to you guys, like, you know, earlier today, I showed you guys my cherry blossom, um, crow nut. So yeah, I wanted to show, by the way, I couldn't do any lives with my brother. Like I really thought we could, but he was always not in a good mood. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, my brother is cool. Okay. But I mean, sometimes he acts like um, a teenager going through puberty, but no, 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 he's, 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 he's fine. He's fine. But it's just, yeah. But anyways, you guys can still see um, my brother. Cause I at least recorded videos of us together. So I'll, I'll try to like edit and upload them later. So you guys will still see my brother in some sense, but sadly not live. He, he was just, he was just never in a good mood. I swear. But no, 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 but we had fun. Okay. We had fun, but uh, you know, Mm -hmm. so let's talk more about that next time okay so hey sorry i need to stop going on tangents we gotta go let's go let's go yeah yeah the bridge i know i know yeah i mean i mean it was a freak accident that that cargo ship like losing power or something and then yeah but still yeah just just so so scary so just 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 yeah stay safe out there um oh jennifer i can't believe you were here the whole time jennifer she says she enjoyed the time chatting I always enjoy it. What the heck? Okay, wait, wait. Someone post on Fan Cafe. One second. Um, yeah, so Jennifer, same here. I hope that we can see you again more often. But yeah, Jennifer, I still can't believe I saw you in Japan. Like, I'm gonna tell those stories later. Um, Jennifer, when I talk about like my vacation, of course I'm gonna talk about meeting you. So I hope Jennifer, you could join me on those days. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was so fun, the things me and Jennifer did. And so, anyways, anyways, yeah, yeah. So happy to chat with Worldwide Mundo. Has got that right. Good night and day, everyone. You too, Jennifer. Have a good sleep. See you later. Uh, Unico says, what will I am look like with a buzz cut? I think you'll look okay. I mean, so far, all the members look okay with a buzz cut. Yeah, I think you'll be okay. I think so. But yes, well, let me let me check. Who is this guy on? I think it must be I am. It must be. Let me let me see. Hold one second. So fan cafe. Of course it is. It's I am. So he says here, he says here wait <laughs> so like wait um but in a cute way and then with a black heart why a black heart is that supposed to represent his album i don't know so he says he says wait in a cute way and then he says and then he says um i think that means all the songs or the complete song no i think that means the complete song let me let me look it up in a dictionary i want to 
I don't want to give you guys the wrong translation. One second. Um. Uh. Uh. Yeah, okay, okay. So I think I think he used Yeah, I think he's using an acronym. It's cuz it's not in the dictionary. Yeah, 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 no, it is an acronym. Okay, I found it in in not the entire song. Okay, okay. So that's that's the best translation of of that word he used. It's the full song. It's the full song. So you know, we just heard a snippet of it. So the full song. So he's saying the full songs are amazing. Like like that word he used it's like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like, it's like, he, that's literally what he said in like, kind of like Korean terms, but, but like, he's like, it's like, it's just really, it's just really, really good. It's just really amazing. Okay. Okay. I am. Okay. So anyways, anyways, anyways so, so, so yes, we only heard a few seconds and a few seconds of the song, of course, does not represent the full song. So he's, he's saying, yeah, just wait a bit. You know, he says in a cute way and like the full song is like really, really good. And so, but he's the one who made the song of course he's gonna say that okay so anyways, so i i personally don't really trust him but but you guys can take it how you wish but yeah i definitely will not um like i'll i'll, sus I'll suspend my judgment until i can hear the entire album of course and it's gonna be five days from now all right so yeah we'll see then five days is gonna be in the blink of an eye okay but oh my gosh i still can't believe we're almost in april Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. And April 1st will be um his music video teaser. Okay. So yeah, we're going to start off April with a bang. Okay. So yeah, very exciting. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. And then Lulu says his nose will stand out more. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. With like, yeah, that's true. How funny. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Good night, everyone. I'll see you guys again for great comment or who knows, maybe before even great comment. We'll see. Okay. All right. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye-bye-bye.